Apple, Apple, Manhattan, Kansas. Welcome to Bill Snyder Family Stadium. And we have a good one for you. Fox College Football is sponsored by Volkswagen, the ninth ranked team in the nation. The Oklahoma Sooners come into town to take on Bill Snyder's Kansas State Wildcats. And a look at the AP Top 10, Alabama, Penn State, Georgia, TCU, Wisconsin, all undefeated. Oklahoma coming into this game and into this town and into this stadium. Ranked ninth in America with only one loss. Hi everybody, I'm Gus Johnson along with my partner Joel Klatt and welcome to the Little Apple, Manhattan, Kansas. The Oklahoma Sooners come into this game after defeating Texas in the Red River rivalry last week in Dallas. They have lost only one game this year yeah. to Iowa State at home. And one thing is for certain, they have one of the best quarterbacks, one of the best players yeah. in all of college football. I love watching this kid play. I can't wait for today to watch Baker Mayfield. I don't know if there is a player that's more important to his team than Baker Mayfield. Part of it is his elusiveness in the pocket. He shows it right here against Ohio State gets the ball down the field this is what I don't think it's enough credit is his arm talent and arm strength backing up flips his hips and he throws it 63 yards down the field for a touchdown Baker Mayfield gives Oklahoma a chance to win the Big 12 make a playoff push push and maybe win a national championship he's that important and more importantly he's that good quickly how's his shoulder his shoulder is going to be fine. Texas with him this week. He was sore early, but now he's ready to go. He feels like if he plays his best, that this team might be one of the best teams in America. All right, Kansas State coming off a disappointing home loss last week to TCU. They scored only six points at home. They have some quarterback issues. Jesse Ertz, who was their normal starter, is out. He has a tender knee. So Alex Delton yep. gets another opportunity. He'll make his second career start now. I've always thought that a quarterback's most improvement comes from their first start to their second start. So we're probably going to see that from Alex Dillon today. But this is really about Bill Snyder, the Hall of Famer. This is a guy that has made a career, a Hall of Fame career, out of getting the most out of his football team. And that's going to have to be the case today if they're going to knock off the number nine Oklahoma Sooners. This is a series that dates back to 1895. The Sooners, they've been playing well on the road. Winners of 13 straight tie with Alabama for the longest active streak in the nation. So the Wildcats will have to be at their best today. Welcome back to Kansas State. Time now for the best seat in the house, sponsored by eBay. Fill your cart with color. Let's go downstairs to the third member of our team, the All-American girl, Jenny Tapp. Well, Gus, I'm not sure if you know this, but in Kansas, lightning strikes over a million times a year. And when it comes to K-State, they have been a little unlucky with the amount of times it's happened for them. Last week, over three hours of delay. Today, we already experienced our first lightning delay and hopefully our last, but both teams came prepared. Coach Riley told me they brought extra food. They made sure they had TVs if they wanted to watch film. And Gus, I can tell you, it was loud throughout that entire delay outside of the locker room and as for quarterback Alex Delton I asked him what about delays how will it affect you he said either way I am prepared I am ready to get a job done and some of those other K-State guys they joked with me and said it's Kansas we are used to this we have a job to do today all right thank you very much Jenny oh you won the toss deferred Kansas State to receive you are in the middle of the country folks According to a scientific survey commissioned 100 years ago, we are 141 miles southeast of Lebanon, Kansas, which is the geographic center of the contiguous 48 states. OU, Kansas State, Austin, Seibert sends it away. Pringle and Heath are back deep, and this one heading out of the end zone for a touchback. So Kansas State comes onto the field for the first time. And when the Wildcats have the ball, Joel, what's the story? The second start for Alex Delton. This guy has some great speed. Jesse Ertz, of course, injured. So now Delton has got to work out those kinks that they had a week ago. Look for him to try to exploit the pass defense of Oklahoma. Speaking of that defense, Obo Okoronkwo, Big 12 Defensive Player of the Week. He's one of the best outside linebackers in America. He was all over Sam Ellinger in the Red River rivalry, and he's got to play big again today. First down and 10 of the 25-yard line, Dimmel and Barnes. 
in the backfield with Delton and Delton on first down pulls it out wants to throw on the move lets it go and it's incomplete on the far side Byron Pringle the intended receiver Alex Delton from Hayes Kansas in his first career start last week against TCU 11 for 29 for 146 yards he carried it 19 times for 39. Wow, it's interesting they come right out of the gate and they Throw a little run action pass, getting outside of the pocket. Byron Pringle, the intended receiver, he struggled with drops. Drops one here on the very first play. Second down to 10 of the 25. Barnes in the backfield with Delton. And they'll hand it to him with running room. Watch out! Alex Barnes, can he get there? Puts on the juice. The Wildcats with a haymaker early on. They watch the Iowa State teams. Two things are going to happen here. Emmanuel Beal gets way too far out of his gap, and then a great block by the left guard, number 60, 61, Abdul Beecham. He gets up to the linebackers. There's the hole, and bang, Alex Barnes is gone. Alex Barnes. The leading rusher among running backs with 306 yards and two touchdowns comes a big opening series for Kansas State, 75 yards, and the Wildcats take a 7-0 lead, and this place is jumping. This offensive coaching staff for Kansas State was under the microscope. Bill Snyder had some of the most pointed comments that he's ever had regarding his staff and the game plan a week ago only scoring six points. They outdo that in their very first drive here against Oklahoma. And this is what Coach Snyder said. There are some things that I need to get straightened out. I appreciate the fact that they wanted to win and they gave good effort. But there are some things that are not taking place and that falls in my lap. Yesterday before our meeting he was having just an offensive staff meeting. It's the first time I've ever been to K-State where they were having this meeting. Speaking to some of the people around the program, it has been, uh, let's just say, tense at practices. And they sure played with a sense of urgency right there. And Alex Dillman gets a touchdown and a little congratulations from the Hall of Famer. Matthew McCrane will send it away for the Wildcats. Short kick picked up at the 24. Good special teams coverage. Rodney Anderson goes down. These Wildcats are intense and fired up to play against one of the top teams in America. So when Oklahoma has a football, Joel, what's the story? A couple of true freshmen that are very talented. You could call it true talent. C.D. Lamb and Trey Sermon. Trey Sermon, a running back, he's one of the best in America. The young elk, 222 pounds. C.D. Lamb, he's 6'1", 173, a true freshman from Richmond, Texas. He'll be one of the number one targets on the outside. And then Will Geary, the defensive lineman for Kansas State. This guy is an effort, relentless player. Very physical, three sacks on the year. He's got to play his best. First down and 10 of the 22 for Baker Mayfield and the Sooners. On first down, they hand it off. Trey Sermon. Hard running, gets to the 25, stopped by Denzel Goolsby. And they feel that this kid, Trey Sermon, a freshman from Marietta, Georgia, has an opportunity to be the next great running back at OU. Yeah, he's got that type of burst as well as the power. Baker Mayfield winds up, delivers, sideline, and it is caught by Jeff Badette. The redshirt senior from Orlando, and it's a gain of 23. A little bit underthrown there, or else there could have had more yardage. But Bedette was a bit banged up coming into this game. There was questions for Lincoln Riley whether he would be available. He's in on the first series, gets the first completion of the game. First down and 10 of the 49, opening series for Oklahoma. Sermon remains in the game. Bedette in motion. They swing it out to him. He's got space with a lane. Oh, and he's tackled. Shoestring tackle at the 30-yard line. Flag on the play. Denzel Goolsby manages to get him, but this could go against OU. Yeah, Jordan Smallwood, number 17, wide receiver, had a hold of the defensive back on the outside. Holding. Holding. Offense. Number 17. 
10 yard penalty, replay first down. That's DJ Reed, one of the leaders of this defense. There's the grab of the jersey, playing his day right in front of the official, and really didn't need to because that play was open without the hold. It wasn't getting him much extra yardage, so a self inflicted wound here early for Oklahoma on their first series offensively. Baker Mayfield, third in the Heisman last year, fourth the year before. One of the great winners in Oklahoma history. First down. And nine at midfield. Play fake. Mayfield dances out of the pocket, throws on the move, has his receiver at the 40-yard line. Mark Andrews, one of the best tight ends in the nation. Richard Jr. out of Scottsdale, Arizona. Yeah, he's such a good target, and this is the guy I think Baker trusts the most. 23 catches, 459 yards on the year, three touchdowns. He is one heck of a tight end. Had that 59-yard touchdown catch with seven minutes left last week against Texas for the win. First down at the 38. Mayfield runs it himself, cuts it inside. Mayfield with some giddy up, and he's finally down inside the five. That's a gain of 33. And that was a totally broken play in the backfield. He was expecting his true freshman running back, Trey Sermon, to be there for a fake. So he just replaced him in the hole. There were a couple of offensive linemen pulling around to run on that left side, kind of a, a counter or a power for the running back. Sermon didn't know the play. Mayfield did and runs it all the way down to the five. That's why I love this guy, man. Improv all over the place. He is just one of the best. He plays with so much enthusiasm and energy. First down and goal at the Kansas State six. Sermon, the pistol back. Mayfield, end zone, touchdown OU. Bada bing, bada boom. They march it right down the field and answer Dimitri Flowers, the senior from San Antonio, Texas. They just put the linebacker in a bind. When your eyes are all over him, then all of a sudden you're going to get the little kind of swing back out, and all of a sudden, Flowers is wide open. That's as easy as it gets. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Great fake from Mayfield in the backfield. And here's Seibert in for the extra point. And it's good. We're level at seven. 12 16 to play in the first quarter. Baker Mayfield wastes no time as he finds Flowers for six. Seven up. Fox College football is sponsored by the 2018 Ford F-150. It doesn't just raise the bar, it is the bar. And by State Farm, here to help life go right. Welcome back to Kansas State. Beautiful sights here in Manhattan. Healthy agriculture. And we've got a good ball game to start so far. 7-7. Seven to seven. Baker Mayfield on their opening series for OU. 4 for 4, 52 yards. He also ran one, 32 yards. And he threw the touchdown to Dimitri Flowers. That's exactly what they needed too, because this crowd had come alive. You know, they did not see much offense a week ago when they faced TCU. They had the delay, and boom, right down the field, Barnes was able to get that touchdown run, and it was important for Mayfield and Oklahoma to come out and steal some of that momentum back, take some of the air out of this building. Cybert sends it away. Pringle, Harris back deep, and this one, wow! He almost kicked that one through the upright, Joel. A little pumped it up. Hit, it hit the up. <laughs> it hit the left upright. What a leg for Cyber! Oh, wow. wow. Today, our Ford unstoppable player is a kid that you like a whole lot. He can I, get to the quarterback. I love Obo Okoronkwo. This guy is so talented. He's got length and athleticism. He can get to the quarterback. He can rush inside and outside. Six sacks on the year. He's a tackle for loss machine and. I think the thing I like most about him is that he is an emotional leader for this team. He's done a great job for Mike Stoops, the defensive coordinator, and the young head coach, Lincoln Riley. Not in the game right now. First and 10 of the 25 for Alex Delton. And he hands it off to Alex Barnes. Barnes breaks it back, picks up a couple. Devontae Lampkin 
in on the stop for OU. And Lampkin has been getting more and more playing time as this season has gone on. A sophomore from Houston, Texas, and he's going to have to play big today because this this game offensively for Kansas State is going to be a run predicated game, which means that it's in the hands of those big guys up front for Oklahoma, the defensive linemen, to try to stop that run game. 216 total yards last week against TCU. 10 first downs, 2 of 15 on third down conversions, 0 for 2 in the red zone for Kansas State in that 20 point loss to the Horn Frogs. So the offense must play better. And a timeout called by K State. 7 to 7. Back to Manhattan after this. Time now for Craveable Moments, sponsored by Dr. Pepper. In 2012, Kansas State went to Oklahoma. Ty Zimmerman intercepted Landry Jones. That led to a Colin Klein go ahead TD early in the fourth quarter. Then John Hubert solidified the win with a nine yard touchdown. That was the last time Kansas State beat a top 10 team. And there he is, Optimus Klein. Colin Klein, I tell you what, Joe, one of the toughest kids I've ever seen play this game of football. I saw him in high school. I actually did his state championship high school game at Loveland High School in Colorado. What a great player. And they run it. Barnes gets to the sideline. And he'll tiptoe out of bounds at the 45. Kansas State, they see something, Joel. They feel they can run it on OU. And that was one of the strengths for OU's defense coming in, was their ability to stop the run. If there was a weakness for the Sooners, it was their pass defense. But Kansas State certainly has found something, and they're letting that offensive line get out there and get busy. And Okoronkwo has that hand taped up and has not been on the field. So that's certainly a development here for the Oklahoma Sooners as their defense is missing their best player. First down and 10 of the 46. And they'll swing it out near side, Isaiah Zuber. And he'll be lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Great pursuit on defense for Oklahoma, Will Johnson, Jordan Thomas. And that, those are the type of plays that Oklahoma has struggled with this year. Their tackling in space has not been good. This secondary has been much maligned. Statistically, one of the worst pass defenses in the conference and in the nation. But when it comes to tackling in space, that's where they can make up a lot of those numbers. They're 93rd in the country. A lot of that, Gus, is yards after the catch. If they tackle better in space, those numbers are going to come way down. Second and 10 of the 46. Winston Dimmel, the junior, from right here in Manhattan in the backfield. Here's Delton. He'll run it with room. And Delton plunges forward. Now, when you look at these athletes, they're very talented athletes. They practice hard every day. Why are they incapable of consistently tackling in space? Well, quite frankly, that's not a skill practiced anymore. You just don't tackle in, in the sport of football in practice. You know, you're almost never in full pads. And when you are, you're never going all the way to the ground as in full speed. So the only time that these kids, and in particular, that's happening in high school now. So now you're talking about freshmen, sophomores, juniors that have never practiced. First charge tackling. timeout, Oklahoma. And Oklahoma calls a timeout. We'll step away. 7-7, seven to seven. Kansas State playing some solid football early. Joel, you were finishing your conversation about tackling. I remember playing football. We used to have drills like blood alley and bull in the ring and practice it all the time. Why don't they do it anymore? Well, that was also when they weren't concerned about head injuries, uh, you know, and, and now it's just a different time and a different way to practice football and the philosophy of getting kids ready to play. Third down and four. Delton looking for the first down and he's close. It'll depend on the spot. D.J. Ward and Caleb Kelly brings him down, and he's short. Yeah. And it looks like Coach Snyder is going to go for it. Well, with Baker Mayfield on the opposing sideline, I don't think you can get into a position where you're just going to kick off and, or excuse me, punt and try to play the field position game. But they might also be trying to dry him offside here. Delton, 6 feet, 200 pounds. He's got some size if they sneak it. Uh-oh. Kansas State says Oklahoma jump first. I think they did. That was Devontae Lampkin. Number 57, who was right over the ball and kind of jumped into the neutral zone. Offside, 
Defense, number 57, contact in the neutral zone. Five-yard penalty, yardage results in a first down. Well, you can get into that neutral zone and get back, but he makes contact helmet to helmet there with the center. That's Adam Holtorf, the center, number 79, draws the flag and a huge first down here for Kansas State on their second series. First down and 10 of the 40. Should never happen. Should never happen. Any defensive lineman, but in, certainly the nose guard right over the football the football is right underneath his nose does not have to touch it doesn't have to move until that ball moves and certainly a mistake and that's something that Oklahoma has struggled with the penalties for this squad in particular on the defensive side extending drives creating first downs for the opposition that's been a problem all year for Lincoln Riley first down to the 40 yard line for K-State Alex Delton the sophomore from Hayes Kansas Making his second start. He'll fire to the far side. Zuber gets up the sideline and out of bounds. And I'll tell you what, this Oklahoma team last week marked the third game in a row in which the Sooners had big first half leads, leading by 18 in Baylor, 14 against Iowa State, 20 against Texas, and yet trailed in the fourth quarter of all three of those games. So there's been a lack of concentration at times over the last three weeks. Yeah, and I think it has to do with consistency with the unit that's on the field right now, the defensive unit. You get those leads, you got to put that game away. Oboe back on the field, Okoronkwo, that taped up hand. Second and seven at the 37. Near side, Zuber with blocker. Zuber hits the sideline quickly. Finally chucked out of bounds at the Oklahoma 34. Will Johnson there to knock him out of play. Well, here's another one of these situations. Third down, Kansas State was not good last week. Only two conversions on third down against TCU, and it's something they've struggled with all year long. Only 30%, which is 122nd in the FBS. And we're going to have two backs in the backfield. Gus, this quarterback run is what they like to run here. Third down and three. They were 2 of 15 on third down conversions last week against TCU. Delton runs it, follows his block, bounces it outside with a lane, hits the sideline, stiff arm out of bounds at the 15 first down. K-State, Bill Snyder has his boys ready to play. I love the block here from Alex Barnes. Watch from the tailback spot. He's going to lead all the way up into the hole, and he's going to block the middle linebacker. It's actually the safety right there. That's the block that springs him for a first down. Stephen Parker, the safety, he tries to come up, fill that hole, but Alex Barnes with a terrific third-level block for a first down conversion. That's a gain of 19 on third and three. First down at the 14. Delton. Call. Heath wrapped up immediately. Oklahoma tries to wrestle it away from him. And they will say he's down at the 12. No signal yet from the officials. And it's a turnover now. They just signaled it. There's going to be talk then, did he complete the process of the catch? If he did, then that is certainly close a to a fumble. Recovered by Oklahoma on the ground. First down, Oklahoma. The head linesman, Andy Warner, had that beanbag out immediately. We'll be watching this, as I'm sure they will. So we take a break. Seven all. This college football presented by Volkswagen is sponsored by Wendy's Fresh Never Frozen Beef Hamburgers, the official hamburger of the NCAA. And by Allstate, official protector of college football fans. I don't know, Joe, I wouldn't want to mess with those band kids right there. They look pretty mean. <laughs> they, they were rolling out there. Well, this is going to stand as a turnover. Stephen Parker with a great open field tackle, and then he stripped the ball from Dominique Heath. Of course, every play is reviewed, but they're able to go ahead and get a takeaway here, which they have not been very proficient at during the course of the season. 114th in the country, and Oklahoma is able to stop this second drive. There's Heath, junior from Huntersville, North Carolina, who coughed it up. Kansas State 0 for 2 in the red zone last week against TCU. First down, Baker Mayfield at his own 12. 
Here's Mayfield to throw it all day. Dancing around in the pocket. Directs traffic. Near side, put it on the hands of Jeff Badette. And he just couldn't bring it in. Well, just terrific coverage down the field, but it was equaled by the great protection by the offensive line. Mayfield just had ample time to sit back there, survey, and he actually had Bidette wide open. Bidette should have certainly caught that ball on the sideline for a first down. Baker Mayfield leads the nation in completion percentage at 74%. Second and ten. Sermon back in the game. Anderson in motion. They give it to Sermon straight away. And Sermon will get to the 20 yard line. And Joe, there have been so many great running backs at Oklahoma. Billy Sims, Heisman Trophy winner. Steve Owens, Heisman Trophy winner. Billy Vessels, Heisman Trophy winner. Then you go Joe Washington, Marcus Dupree, Adrian Peterson, Samaje P. Ryan, Greg Pruitt, DeMarco Murray. Trey Sermon might be right in that category. That's what I'm listen, saying. I'm saying he, this guy is talented. There's no question about it. Now Rodney Anderson in the backfield with Mayfield. Third down and three at the 19. Mayfield looking for the first down. Has his tight end. And we'll see. Andrews, they say he's down. Even though the ball came loose. And it looks like he is very close to a first down. Yeah, the way that this spot is happening here on the near side, I think he's going to be short Rolling by about a half yard. It was a completed catch down by roll. Yeah, he needs to get all the way to that 22-yard line and see how that knee hits down. Boy, that's going to be close, though. If they take a, a further look at this, and I think they're going to have to take a look because where that ball was, now I think that right knee hits down right there, but he's extending with that right hand, and they're going to have to see exactly. It's going to be tough with that yard marker kind of in front, but we're short by about a half yard. So Oklahoma short. We'll bring up fourth down and one. Offense still on the field right now for Lincoln Riley. I don't think there was anything based on what I've seen that they could actually take upstairs to overturn that spot. Pretty good spot here on the near side. And no secret where they were going on third down. Lincoln Riley and Baker Mayfield love going to their kind of security blanket. Tight end Mark Andrews. 80% of this guy's catches have gone for either touchdowns or first downs. But Kansas State was ready for it, and they stopped him short. So Oklahoma brings on the punt team. To send it away, a victory for K State on defense as they get off the field. Lincoln Riley, 34 years old, the youngest coach in FBS Division I. 44 years, the junior to the man on the opposite sideline, Bill Snyder. Seibert will send it away. Pringle, the deep man, standing at the 41. This one. And muffed, but picked up by Harris. Harris picking up the muffed punt. A dangerous play for Kansas State. You can't advance. Almost turned it over. Can't advance the muffed punt. That's why the play is stopped, and it'll be Kansas State ball right back there at the recovery. Time now for an AT&T game break. Let's go to Greg Wolf in Los Angeles. Gus, thanks. We check in in Tuscaloosa. 100th meeting between Tennessee and number one Alabama. Damian Harris right up the middle. 11 yard touchdown run. Nick Saban has never lost to Tennessee as Alabama's head coach. Tied lead 21 to nothing, second quarter. Gus, Joel, back to you. There's some trouble in Knoxville. No doubt, Greg. Nick Saban's not going to lose this year. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> there was a plane flying over the stadium that said, Butch Jones, your mom still loves you. I mean, that is wow. That is wow. College football. That's right. In first, yeah. Yeah. first down and ten at the 31. Here's Delton running it. Gets outside. Now turns it up and gets to the 35 before being brought down by Obo. Slow to get up. That's Jordan Thomas, number seven, who's gingerly walking around. He's one of the corners here. Senior from Klein, Texas, and Jordan's been battling through some injuries and has not played up to his standards or the standards of the coaching staff yet. And it really comes in terms of at the catch point. They want him to be better in terms of passes defended. 
when he's in position to make the play. Second and seven at the 34. Justin Sillman in the backfield. Delton will run it right behind him. Breaks it inside and goes down at the 39. Stephen Parker coming up with the tackle. What's the adjustment that you've seen so far from K-State offensively? They are running that old school Colin Klein quarterback power, right, where both running backs are leading up into the hole. So what that does, because listen, football is all about math, right? If you've got more offensive players than they have decent defensive players where you're trying to run it, you're going to be successful. And that's what running the quarterback gives you is a mathematical advantage. Third down and two. Dimmel this time looking for the first down and he has it. Winston Dimmel. Strong fullback picks up the first down. Two-time first team all Big 12. Started all 32 career games. He's actually the son of the offensive coordinator, Dana Dimmel, who's here in his 19th year. But Winston has done a heck of a job here as a lead block. He can catch it out of the backfield and there converts on third down. It's nice when your dad's the OC. That means you're going to get a couple of touches a game. That's guaranteed. Right. That's right. According to mom, first down and 10 at the 42. Because <laughs> we know who's boss. That's right. Dimmel again. The rumble his way across the 45 up to the 47 yard line. You know, I've had I've had people come and ask me, and actually a couple of K-State fans asked me before the game, why don't they just run that quarterback run all the time? Well, you have to be with, okay with exposing your quarterback to the type of punishment that running between the tackles and tails. It's one thing when you've got Colin Klein, he's 6'4, 230 pounds. That's not Alex Delton. He's only six foot, 200 pounds. So you've got to watch how many times you're putting him in harm's way right there in the middle of the defense. Second and six. Delton will throw it this time. He's got a wide open receiver. Show. Big play. Dalton Show. A gain of 40 yards. Jones just going to run right by the safety, and then he's going to take off right down the middle of the field. This is a total blown coverage. Eyes in the backfield, nobody in the middle of the field, and Stephen Parker immediately, the safety, is chasing Schoen down the field. The sophomore from Overland Park with another big catch for Kansas State. First down at the OU 15. The Wildcats having no problems moving the ball against Oklahoma. Silman hopping. Positive yardage as he's dragged down from behind at the 11 by Emmanuel Beal. Well, I love the game plan here. It's run, 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 play action, take a shot, play action, get the quarterback out of the backfield. Kansas State already with 190 total yards to Oklahoma's 97 on the day. Second and seven at the 12. Delton will run it. Delton with a hole. Delton to the end zone. And he's downed at the one. Will Johnson with the saving tackle. Where was that knee actually? Oh, yeah, he was short by about a yard as he was reaching for the end zone with that left knee hitting the turf. But what great effort from Delton, and they continue to take advantage of that mathematical advantage that quarterback runs give you. He was patient, waits for the hole, gets down to the one. First down and goal at the one-yard line for K-State. Alex Delton under center. Quarterback sneak. Touchdown, Wildcats. So how about this? Kansas State. Smacking around OU early. The Sooners flinching. And Bill Snyder and the Kansas State Wildcats are taking full advantage with their sophomore quarterback, Alex Delton. Oh, I love this game plan. Just love this game plan from Kansas State. Take advantage of what you're best at. They've been doing that with their quarterback, Alex Delton. Some strong runs from Dimmel and the big completion down the field to Schoen.
Matthew McCrane comes in to attempt the extra point as you take another look. Alex Delton getting low. Remember all plays reviewed in college football, and they're just making sure here. And certainly nothing that would warrant further review. So he's clearly in the end zone. The drive, eight plays, 69 yards. Eating up four minutes and 11 seconds. McCrane's extra point is good. 14-7 K-State. The Wildcats aren't messing around early. Back after this. 14-7, Alex Delton pays it off with a one-yard touchdown run. What a start for them. Particular after last week, even after that turnover, their defense comes up with a stop. Gets the ball right back. Eight plays, 69 yards. Dealt with that one yard run, but really the big play was the big completion down the field to Schoen. Terrific throw from Delton. This place is electric right now for the Wildcats. Kansas State sends it away. Oklahoma will get a chance. Here's Sutton. And Sutton spinning, still on his feet. And finally, driven down at the 24. Sean Newland with the tackle on special teams. Let's go to Greg Wolf for a game break in LA. Gus, thanks. It gets no better than this. A winner-take-all Game 7 of the ALCS for the right to face the Dodgers in the World Series. Yankees, Astros, it all goes down tonight on FS1. Live coverage begins on FS1 immediately following Arizona State, Utah. Gus, Joel, back to you. All right, thank you very much. Big-time play. Home teams are 6-0. When the series is tied at three apiece, I don't know who you're going for. I'm going for the Yankees. I'd love to see the Dodgers and Yankees in the World Series again. That's because you want to be able to go home. You live in New York. <laughs> <laughs> First out at 10 to the 23. Smart man. And they'll hand it off. Rodney Anderson. And Rodney Anderson crosses the 30-yard line. <laughs> Jade Kirby. Defensively for K-State. Yeah, this game is is playing out in the first quarter really perfectly into Kansas State's hands because they don't want to have to blitz or try to pressure Mayfield. They want to sit in their coverage and make Oklahoma earn their way down the field. Second and two at the 31. Anderson the pistol back. Mayfield turns, fires near side, and it's Jeffrey Meade down the sideline. Meade knocked out a play by Denzel Goolsby after a 31-yard pickup. Well, I just said this is why you don't want to pressure. When you pressure, all of a sudden, it leaves one-on-one -on -one situation on the outside. Now, Andrews goes and blocks the outside. You get one missed tackle, and you're going to have a big play down the field. First down at the 38 for Oklahoma. Anderson. Strung out nicely, and he'll go down. Not much. Kirby again defensively. And that should take us to the end of the first quarter. And an interesting quarter partner it has been. Could not have started better for Kansas State. Offense rolling for the Wildcats. Defense trying to hold serve as well. Come on back to Manhattan with us. Welcome back to Kansas State. Wildcats playing some good football early on here as we tell you that Fox College football is sponsored by Volkswagen. Gus Johnson and Joel Klatt, this is homecoming day for yeah. K-State. When I saw Oklahoma on the schedule, I said, wow, that's a tough one for homecoming. You usually want to play Little Sisters of the Poor. Or well, they know something that you didn't, apparently. They've got a great game plan, and this offense for Kansas State has been terrific. The defense is going to have to, of course, hold serve, but what I love about their offense, 202 total yards so far today in the first quarter. They only had 216 total yards all game last week against TCU. But can the defense keep Baker Mayfield out of the end zone. He's one of the best in America. On second down, Baker to throw it. Looks up. He's got a receiver. Caught at the five. Michael Jones. 
the sophomore from Patterson, Louisiana. And that's a gain of 31. Yeah, what a great adjustment he makes on the ball. The ball was thrown a little behind him and on the outside. He was looking over his inside shoulder. He reaches all the way back, turns his body, makes the catch, secures it going to the ground. What an athletic play there from Michael Jones. First down and goal at the six. For the Sooners, Rodney Anderson in it, running back. And they'll swing it out, but dead. Oh, and he's chopped down at the 10. What a tremendous defensive play by Duke Shelley. Well, that's what experience gives you. Duke Shelley has started 23 games over the last three years. He's not going to be fooled by the wide receiver going on the inside path. He gets his eyes right back to the outside, and then he goes and he attacks the wide receiver, bringing him down to the ground. What a great open field tackle from Duke Shelley. A loss of three, second and goal of the nine. Mayfield. Quickly in the end zone, jump ball, incomplete. Intended for C.D. Lamb, but they say he didn't get his feet in bounds. Well defended by Denzel Goolsby. Yes, I thought it was an interception. Goolsby ripped that ball away. He was in bounds. Watches that ball fight, and now he's fighting. He's still in, he's still in, and he's got possession. Boy, that's going to be close, but I thought, if anything, it was close to a pick. The ruling on the field is the defender had possession of the ball before going out of bounds for an interception. Touchback. Tell you what, I think these officials are all over it today. What a call. Bang, bang, play. And so important for the process of review that was actually called an interception on the field because there will have to be video evidence to overturn it to potentially an incompletion. What a great play, first of all, from Denzel Goolsby. He goes up right in the face of the wide receiver, C.D. Lamb, the true freshman. He went up tall to get it, but Goolsby rips it down, and then he gets that foot into the end zone before his kind of that right side hit on the end line. So Kansas State thinks they have the football at the 20. The rolling on the field was an interception for a touchback. The previous play is now under further review. We'll bring in our rules analyst, Dean Blandino in Los Angeles. Dino, what'd you see on that play? What an unbelievable play, and, and it looks like an unbelievable call by the officials, and I agree with Joel. The receiver's airborne. He's got to come down with control of the football. As he comes down, the defender pulls it out, has both feet down inbounds, maintains control as he goes to the ground. This, to me, is an interception. And again, an unbelievable play and an unbelievable call on the field. I, I couldn't agree more. You know, the, to make the call on the field, if anything, I thought it was the easiest call to make in completion. The ruling on the field is confirmed. Yeah, that's just outstanding official work right there you know you've got the back judge Chris Alston just did a phenomenal job he was all over it makes a terrific call that's you know listen in today's day and age we don't oftentimes take time to compliment the official that was a ridiculously good call in real time that's by right. this officiating crew there's Chris Alston the back judge he was all over it back there well done so a turnover a piece First down and 10 of the 20. Out of the offset eye, Justin Silliman is the deep back for Alex Delton. And Delton hands it to Silliman. Breaks a tackle, smash, my Kansas State football. Woo! Emmanuel Beal had to take a ride. Oh, let's hear it. I'll tell you what this game is turning into. Bar fight. Broken <laughs> glass everywhere by the time this one is over. That's a 10-yard game. I thought you were going to go with your favorite saying, a knife fight in the gutter. That's right. <laughs> Beautiful thing. First and 10 at the 30. Oh, you got barbecue back there, Gus. <laughs> and you didn't invite me. Here's Delton and Delton. 45. Delton. Kansas State came 
to play today, folks. Oklahoma, who? Here's this. You're going to get blocks right here, and then you're going to get the running backs leading up on the second and third level. That's what's so good. Block on that outside. You get the pulling guard. Another block from number 32, Justin Silman. They're getting the linebackers and safeties blocked on almost every single quarterback run. That promotes those big runs down the field. Delton, eight carries, 74 yards, and a touchdown. First down at the 44. Oklahoma's defense looks like they're shying away from contact as they run Silman. This time, though, the Sooners with great pursuit as Famatu comes up with the tackle. I was hoping you were going to have to say that name before I was today. <laughs> I think I blew it. Famatau, excuse me, go. the access is on the top. Uh, as, as well as the true freshman, Kenneth Murray, number nine. Both of those guys in there in the backfield. And Kenneth Murray is a heck of a young linebacker for this Oklahoma team, but they are in the crosshairs right now of this run game. Second down and 11 to the 45. Winston Dimmel in the backfield for Delton. He likes to run behind him. Delton throwing, caught Zuber. And Zuber wrapped up immediately by Stephen Parker, the senior from Jenks High School in Tulsa. I'll tell you, he does such a great job. Watch Stephen Parker, because he's going to get off the block. You know, when you have to stop the run or stop some of these plays, he gets off the block and gets in position to make the play. That was an excellent job by Parker, getting free before he eventually makes the tackle. So a gain of four, third and seven at the 41. K-State with a seven-point lead over the ninth-ranked team in the nation. Delton to throw it. Whizzes it up and first down is Zuber. All hands with that catch. Isaiah Zuber from Alex Delton and Delton put some hot sauce on that part. Well, and they are so much better right now on third down. Part of that is because of the run game. Confidence starts to be something that your quarterback plays with. He throws with more of a purpose. They are three of four right now on third down so far today after only two conversions last week against TCU. First down at the 33. Delton running it. Delton with space with speed and out of bounds at the 20. First down, Kansas State. Parnell Motley ushers him out of bounds. If you're going to run the quarterback run, I want you to watch the patience that Delton has on this play. He allows every block to develop. He's kind of just hopping, hopping, allowing, and then he gets outside. Now he turns on the Jets. Great patience from the quarterback is needed running these quarterback runs, and Delton's providing that so far today. 12-yard pickup on the last play. First down to the Oklahoma 21. Delton runs it again. Delton with patience down the sideline and out of bounds inside the five Stephen Parker again with the tackle but I tell you what they call it a touchdown he got in Alex Delton is looking like Optimus Klein today rolling on the field touchdown I mean, he definitely takes off from inbound, so it's just a matter of where that ball is when he actually touches. He does touch the pylon, so he gets the goal line extended. This is one of those rare type of rules, and that ball then, if it was across the plane of the end zone Rolling as an extended line, the then it's a touchdown. For the review. So Dean Blandino will join him. Dean, can you further explain what we're seeing here? Yeah, so the key here is he's inbounds, he's going to jump, and now does he touch the pylon with his body? And it looks like his left knee touches the pylon. So if that's the case, and it's very close, the pylon or whether that right foot is out of bounds, if he does get the pylon first, then he's going to get the goal line extended, which means the ball does not have to be inside or over the pylon. It just has to be over the line when the body part hits the pylon. 
Boy, this to me close. looks like too close to change. Yeah, I agree. I mean, because that, that foot, it, it's almost like simultaneous contact of where the right foot hits out of bounds and then that right knee kind of slash, or excuse me, left knee slash left thigh makes contact with the pylon. I don't think they can overturn it. I would agree, Joel. It's that close. They rule touchdown. It's not clear and obvious that it's not a touchdown. All right, Dean, thank you very much as we await the decision. Alex Delton, though, and Kansas State mm. on all sides of the football. Great first half so far. The coach said something during the week and in our meetings. He said, we weren't doing the things that our kids could execute last week. They are in their wheelhouse right now, that quarterback After review, power. The ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. What a series. What a series from Alex Delton. Great patience, allowing his blocks to develop, and then he shows you some of that speed. There are some around this program that believe that he could be actually the fastest quarterback that Bill Snyder has had here at Kansas State, and he was showing you some of that speed after the patience initially allowing those blocks to develop. McCrane in for the extra point, and it's good. 21 to 7, Lincoln Riley and the seniors. Major trouble in Manhattan. Welcome back. Time now for Winning Duos, sponsored by Volkswagen. Why settle for an SUV when you can have an SUVW? Our winning duos. The age discrepancy between the coaches. We've got the oldest coach in the FBS and the youngest coach, 34 and 78. I'll tell you what, Snyder became Kansas State head coach when Lincoln Riley was just five years old. Just a remarkable difference in age. And according to Coach Riley, he said, on Coach Snyder, I'm not going to be doing this at age 78. I can tell you that for sure. He is amazing. And let's go downstairs to Jenny for more. Well, we asked Coach Snyder as well about that age thing, and he said, I don't really think about it that way. And of course, when you ask about my age, everyone wants to talk to me about retirement. And I'm going to say it again. I've said it 556 times. With age, it doesn't matter for me. I'm going to do the same thing I always do. Am I able to be a coach? Am I able to have a positive impact on these guys? And until I decide I'm not able to do that, my family decides I'm not able to do it, I'm going to continue this thing. All right, Jenny, thank you very much. And I'll tell you what. You can see that Coach Schneider is still on top of his game with some of the adjustments he's made after last week's TCU loss, taking on the ninth-ranked team in America. Yeah, they are sitting in their wheelhouse doing what they do. They're playing sound on defense and running the ball well. First down at the 25 for OU. Play fake. Mayfield guns one to the sideline, and it's caught. And this time, it's Tanner. Make that C.D. Lamb with the reception. Well, now this offense is going to have to try to answer. and They don't have to do it quickly. Listen, there's a lot of time. It's just 21-7. But with Baker Mayfield back there, you're always in the game. Mayfield pulls it out, and he drops it off. Trey Sermon, and Sermon upended at the 42. This time it's Duke Shelley. For Mayfield, the risk here is that you're trying to get too much back at once. Because remember, this is a bend-don't-break style of defense. They're not going to allow Oklahoma to get over the top all that often. So you got to take what the defense gives. He's 10 of 12 for 132 yards, but he has thrown that one pick his second of the year. Second down and four at the 43. Mayfield hands it off. Sermon with a lot of running room, and he'll pick up the first down. Trent tanking with the tackle at midfield. But you think that's the way you stop Baker Mayfield is that you yeah. keep everybody in front of you. Yeah, if I, if I was a defensive coordinator, I would drop seven or eight in coverage. I would rush three or four, and I wouldn't even have them try to get to him. I would just have them pin him into the pocket, force him to check the ball down almost every single throw, and see if he's patient enough to do that. Because this is a guy that loves to take chances. He loves to be a gunslinger at times on the outside force him to do something that maybe he's not accustomed to doing. First down at midfield for Oklahoma. And Mayfield, incomplete. Ball intended for Lamb once again. And that brings up second and long. 
Baker Mayfield not as tall as you yeah. would expect a starting quarterback in FBS. He's, he's about Drew Brees' height, maybe a bit taller than Russell Wilson. You know, and he plays with the efficiency that those two guys play with, too. Completion percentage, efficiency, but he's also willing to take risks. That's what makes his completion percentage so amazing. Second and 10 at the 50. Mayfield. Steps up in the pocket and goes down to the 41. First sack of the day, Tanner Wood. Well, this time the rush is going to get there because the coverage down the field was terrific. There was no place to go with the ball initially. Great on the outside, then a crossing route, not quite open. Defense all over it, and Mayfield just didn't have time to get to it. Finally goes down into the pocket, and that pass rush doing some work here early in this game. An eight-yard loss, third down and 18 at the 42. Mayfield delivers. Andrews with the catch, and he will not have enough for the first down as he's knocked out at the K-State 45 by Jade Kirby. Yeah, but it makes it a, a doable fourth down situation, in particular from that yard line, the 44-yard line. They're going to keep their offense on the field, and rightly so. This is a spot on the field and an offense would love to go for it, and they will. Remember, Mark Andrews, he was the target on third down. 80% of his catches go for either a first down or a touchdown. He's going to be in the slot, the top of your screen. Fourth down and four, the 44. Baker Mayfield sets up, looking, scrambling now. Mayfield breaks a tackle, picks up the first down and more. Look at the swashbuckler. Rumble his way inside the Kansas State 30. On fourth and four, he picks up 15. Goolsby with the tackle. I mean, I did not think he was going to get it right here. It looks like he's dead to right. Slips a tackle, slips two more, and then he lowers his shoulder at the end. I mean, this guy has got more swagger than anybody in college football. I love watching him play. He might be the most entertaining player in college football. I think you're absolutely right. First and 10 of the 28. Let's see if they give it to Sermon. They do. They swing it out to him. Bottled up, and he'll gain a yard. Reggie Walker. The sophomore defensive lineman with the tackle. Now that play, while not making the tackle, the play was made by number seven, Eli Walker. So Eli, is, he stands up the wide receiver. That was number 80, Grant Calcaterra. It was trying to block him, but because Eli Walker did such a great job, there was nowhere for Trey Sermon to run. Second and nine. Here comes a blitz. Mayfield, quarterback draw, all kinds of room, continues to move it forward, and finally, he plows his way inside the 20. Jade Kirby with the tackle. Well, as soon as the linebacker leaves, Mayfield knows he's got something on the middle of the field because of that pressure. There's nobody there. He takes a look, bang, he's gone, and then he fights for more yardage, getting close to that first down marker. Baker Mayfield injured his throwing shoulder last week in the third quarter against Texas. Now we have a Wildcat formation. And Mayfield's all the way at the top of your screen. Dimitri Flowers, Trey Sermon in the backfield. Sermon number four. Flowers. Sermon. I don't know. Trent tanking first man to him. Doesn't look like they have enough. Well, the Wildcats were ready for that Wildcat formation. Huh? That's right, very good play on words there, young man. <laughs> oh boy, I'll see myself out. Fourth down and one. Mayfield back on the field. Sooners need a yard. Down 21-7, under five to go, first half. Mayfield back out of wide receiver. This time it's Flowers, the bigger back, looking for the first down. 
It'll be close. Well, it'll be very close. It'll depend on that far side official. The way that he was running in to mark that ball, I just don't think that he got all the way to the 18-yard line. The and nose if, of the football's got to hit the 18-yard line. And if he didn't, this place will erupt. They're going to measure. Gus, that's short. Well, they're trying the Wildcat. Flowers is going to take off over the right side. They have it all blocked up, but then great play by number 58. Trent Tanking had a monster game last week against TCU with double-digit tackles. He gets all the way into the backfield, and he's certainly short based on those replays. Terrific spot. And while they're going to give this an official measurement, he's short by about a foot, maybe two. Tanking 13 tackles last week against TCU. He's seventh in the Big 12 and stops, and they are short. What a first half performance by Bill Snyder's Kansas State Wildcats. The genius diving it up in the Little Apple. Back after this. Fox College football is presented by Volkswagen. Why settle for an SUV when you can have an SUV double? 21 to 7, Kansas State. Leading Oklahoma with 4.36 to go. In the first half, Oklahoma turns the ball over on downs. Kansas State has it at their own 19. They've been successful with the quarterback run in the first half. Yeah, and their quarterback has been key, which is why I don't know why Oklahoma took Mayfield out of the equation on that third and fourth down, making that a Wildcat situation. Took the ball out of the hands of maybe the best player in college football. Delton, 10 carries, 107 yards, and two scores. He'll run it the other way. Delton breaks it. Oh! Woo! Robert Barnes, a freshman from South Lake, Texas, brought the pain. Wow. I mean, this guy was one of the most highly sought after recruits in the country, and you can see why. I mean, that is just. Whoa. Five star recruit, All American, number 27 overall recruit in the nation. It's the son of the former OU linebacker, Reggie Barnes. It's a terrific play there. Five yard gain though, second and five of the 24. Dalvin Warmack has come in at running back. And they'll give it to him. Lowers his shoulder. And finally, powered down by Will Johnson. Well, this is a really important third down for Oklahoma because Kansas State has been able to stay on the field. Now they're bleeding the clock. They are putting into action a very Kansas State-esque game plan. Possess the ball, all those different things. And three of four on third down so far. Let's see if Oklahoma can get off the field here in this opportunity. Clock winding down, 318 and counting. Winston Demmel back in the game. Quarterback run again. Delton looking for the first down, and he has it. This is what I don't understand. Oklahoma's defense knows that Delton is going to run the ball from the quarterback position. Why is it so hard to stop him? Well, He's going to run it six out of ten times. I understand, but they don't have the numbers. That's the thing with court. It's like I said earlier, it's math. They have blockers for blockers because the way you have to line up. The technical term is that you cannot have a player for every gap. So therefore, it becomes a man-on-man -man situation. Can one of your defensive linemen or linebackers get off a block to make the play? And right now, the offensive line and running backs for Kansas State are sustaining their blocks better. On first down, Delton to throw it. Pump fake goes deep. Picked off on the far side. Jordan Thomas, sideline, cuts it in. Thomas down inside the K-State 10. A 46-yard return for the senior from Klein, Texas. Yeah, a highly questionable decision by Dana Dimmel, the offensive coordinator, to just drop back and throw after all the success that they were having running the football. Quarterback runs, running back runs, and then the play action off of that. They didn't even have a real play action fake on this. It's just straight drop back. Delton gets pressure from the true freshman, Kenneth Murray makes the hit late, and he just kind of throws it up there outside to nobody. That, that's a coaching situation where they did not put their team in position to succeed. 
So Oklahoma catches a break. First down and goal at the 10. 2.27 to go in the first half. Baker Mayfield has to pay it off, but he's not in the game. Kyler Murray is, and he'll hand it off straight away to Rodney Anderson. So all of a sudden, we're seeing some wrinkles, some new wrinkles for OU. You know, I, I, I think that this might be more of a health issue. Remember on the last series, we saw Baker take a couple of big hits on runs. He lowered his shoulder. He got close to the first down. Then they went to the Wildcat. Now we're going to see Kyler Murray, the backup quarterback. Something tells me that Mayfield may have aggravated that shoulder that was banged up last week in the Red River rivalry. Murray, well-decorated high school player, transferred from Texas A&M. Second and goal, straight ahead, touchdown Sooners. Rodney Anderson. OU with the chance to cut the K-State lead to seven. Well, what a play. First by the defense, Jordan Thomas setting up a short field for the offense. And then even without Mayfield, they're able to run it in. They're going to review this. As Rodney Anderson was in the end zone. There's Anderson behind Murray. Very decisive. And that right knee certainly was down. Did you see how he kind of spun? And the right knee was down, so it's just a question of whether the ball had actually crossed the plane of the goal line. Tough to tell there. It was certainly not an angle that you're going to be able to overturn the call, but the right knee was certainly down before we all thought that knee was down. So closing moments of the first half. and. Very interesting things happening on the field with Tyler Murray coming in for Baker Mayfield. As you take another look at the play, the knee can't tell whether or not the ball was yeah. across. It yeah, doesn't exactly. look like it from this angle. But th there's no way to say definitively, right? It, you know, I agree, Gus. Uh, he's probably short, but I don't think there's any way that replay can overturn that. Maybe that angle gives them kind yes. of coupling together. The two angles can give them enough evidence to say we believe based on his body position where his back was turned that that ball was not across the plane. I'll tell you what's even more interesting to me than this review. Is that Mayfield hasn't gone into the locker room yet. After review, the runner's knee was down short of the goal line. It will now be third down and half yard. You know, normally if this is something where, okay, we, we need to get him in there and, and work something out so he can come back into the second half, but Mayfield is still on the sideline now. Now he's going to come back on the field. Well, this is interesting. This is very interesting what's going on. So Baker Mayfield back on. Third down and goal at the one yard line. Can the Kansas State defense hold and force Oklahoma to attempt a field goal? Now they switch it up again. Mayfield goes out wide. Wildcat. Dimitri Flowers serving as the quarterback. And some movement on the right side of the offensive line. My goodness. Second charge, timeout, Oklahoma. Coming up on the State Farm Halftime, an OT thriller in Austin that has major Big 12 championship game ramifications. Could Iowa State record a third straight conference win and 35 and a half point favorites Alabama Post Tennessee, Gus Joel, see you at the break. All right, Stoner, thank you very much. You love Matt Campbell, the yeah. head coach at Iowa State. He's doing great things up there. Only, what, 37 years old? He's sitting there with Iowa State. Only two losses on the year, one loss in the Big 12. Third, big win today. Third down and goal. Mayfield again, splitting out wide. Dimitri Flowers runs it. Flowers won't get it. Jade Kirby, and now OU has a decision to make. 
The Wildcat has not been working for. They've tried this set three times now. Third and fourth down on the previous series, and now on this play, and they've gotten a total of about negative one yard rushing. This defense is prepared, they're ready. Remember, they see this style of offense every single day in practice. Nothing that that Wildcat can do will fool the Kansas State defense. So Austin Seibert comes in to attempt a 19-yard field goal. He was three for three last week against Texas. And it's good. 21 to 10, 38 seconds remaining in the first half. College football presented by Volkswagen is sponsored by Progressive Insurance, handing off big savings to you. And by King's Hawaiian Foods, irresistible since 1950. One of the great traditions here at Kansas State, the Wombash Cannonball, and these students get down. When that music starts playing, and there's a lot to cheer about right now for K-State. Yeah, and there's a lot of unknowns right now with 38 seconds in the first half, namely Baker Mayfield's health and whether he's going to be able to play at full strength in the second half. They'll keep this one low, picked up at the 30-yard line, and advanced to close to the 35. So with 34 seconds remaining, Kansas State on top of Oklahoma, 21 to 10. Alex Delton, last time he touched the ball, he threw an interception. But the K-State defense kept Oklahoma out of the end zone. Yeah, really stepped up that defense and, and forced a kick, forced the field goal. But this is not the time, even with two timeouts and 34 seconds, you can think to yourself, okay, let's try to go get a field goal. I don't think it's time for that. Not after the last interception. It's not time to drop back and throw it. I would run a couple of those quarterback runs. If one pops and maybe you can get a field goal that way, then great. First down at the 34. Delton runs it, follows his blocks with room. And dives forward, close to a first down. Mistake from a didn't get out of bound. So they would either have to use a timeout here or just or let the clock go. And it looks like they're going to use one of their timeouts. Baker Mayfield, remember, he injured his right shoulder last week in the Red River against Texas. Went out, came back in, led him to victory when he hit Andrews for the 50-yard touchdown. What's the story? We don't know. 21 seconds remaining in the first half. Kansas State surprising. 21 to 10 lead over the ninth ranked Oklahoma Sooners. Second and one. Play fake. Delton with time. Now moving around, decides to run it. Picks up the first down and steps out of bounds at midfield with 12 seconds left. Don't forget the State Farm halftime report coming up, and I'm sure that Coach Wanstat, Heisman Trophy winner, Matt Liner, Ohio State running back legend, Robert Smith have a whole lot to talk about when it comes to this game. Yeah, no doubt. And Rob Stone will have some things to say as well. First down and 10. Delton rolls, runs it. And Delton out of bounds with six seconds to go. K-State, they'll have an opportunity to throw this ball into the end zone. Yeah, and, and maybe even get something short and quick to the sideline or even across the middle of the field with a timeout left that would put them into field goal range. Dalton's shown He's a guy that has come up big in critical situations as Lincoln Riley wants to get his defense going. I like the game plan of this last series. They have not asked Alex Delton to do something outside of what he can do, what he's capable of. And they're setting themselves up to possibly get some points going into the halftime. Timeout, K-State. One to ten. Kansas State. Here's a team that averages 188 yards rushing a game in the first half alone against the ninth ranked team in the nation Oklahoma they have 257 rushing yards and three rushing touchdowns 
And now they're going to bring on their field goal kicker, Matthew McCrane, who kicked a 51-yard field goal against TCU last week. The wind is strong left to right. He's got it at his back. This will be a 60-yard attempt. Actually, 59 to be exact. I was trying to give him the extra yard. It sounds better at 60, right? Yes, it does. 59 and a half. Can we give him 59 and a half? McCrane has five kicks of 50 or more in his career, tying the school record. This will be for the school record. Oh! Off the crossbar, no good. He couldn't squeeze it in from almost 60 yards. Oh, what's that close? What a great kick. Listen. <laughs> and that's the end of the first half, which turned out to be a great one for the uniformed Kansas State Wildcats. Let's go downstairs to Jenny Taft. Coach, I got to ask you, Baker Mayfield was getting looked at on the sideline. What's his status? Oh, he's fine. He's good. Yep. They've been effective and on the ground. You guys did have that key interception late. How do you build on that? Yeah, we forced two turnovers, and we got to be more physical in the run game, and we got to finish drives offensively. All right, appreciate it. All right, All right it's halftime here at Bill Snyder Family Stadium with the score 21 to 10. Remember, Oklahoma will get the football to start the second half. Right now, we'll send you to Rob Stone in Los Angeles. Fox College football is sponsored by Volkswagen. Bill Snyder, Family Stadium, Manhattan, Kansas. 38th consecutive sellout, 21 to 10, the home team with the league. Gus Johnson, along with my partner, Joel Clapp. Partner, this is the same team that played TCU last week. Right? I think it is. I mean, they're wearing the same uniforms, but the game plan is certainly a little bit different. I you got to give a lot of credit to Kansas State, although we've got a bit of a story unfolding, which is the health of Baker Mayfield, one of the best players in college football. Early, he got loose running the football. This was the first series, and he got hit on his shoulder. Remember, he had his shoulder banged up, missed some time against Texas last week. He still threw the touchdown pass. He was able to be effective throwing the ball, although it was throwing the ball a little bit short at times down the field. But then later in the half, he takes off on second down and takes a big hit right to that right shoulder. They would had some questionable play calls after that. Now, Lincoln Riley told us that he's fine. We're going to have to see, because based on some of those play calls, it did not look like he was fine at the end of the half. Certainly didn't look like he was fine as Oklahoma gets the football to start the second half, and they'll start around the 20. Let's go downstairs and check in with Jenny Taft. Well, Gus, Coach Snyder was very pleased with the momentum in the first half. He said, until that last pick, everything we did, that's what I was looking for. But it is a, the second half, and that means we are restarting here. He said, show me again what you guys did in the first, because what we did already doesn't matter. And as for Dalton, he said he has been solid. He has been effective. We are pleased with what we're seeing from him right now. All right, so Bacon Mayfield trots out to start the second half for Oklahoma. First down from his own 20. Normally it's Oklahoma with the big lead at halftime. And now they're going to be playing from behind. Mayfield on first down. Hands it off. This is Sutton. And Marcellius Sutton stopped by Reggie Walker. Time for our first half stats presented by Geico. Well, you know, those rush yards uh, just jumps out to you. 256 yards on the ground, and that produces quality third down performance. Four of five for Kansas State, Oklahoma, yet to convert on third down with those two turnovers. That's really the reason we still got a ball game here at 21 10. Second and six. Mayfield will throw it. Winds up. Has a receiver caught at the 45. Nicely thrown, Michael Jones with a great catch. Perfectly thrown. Jones is going to be slow to get up here. 
but that ball was thrown absolutely perfectly from Mayfield. It has to be just on his outside shoulder, that, that right shoulder, and he turns and gets it. I mean, it's just right on time, and Mayfield shows us that he's feeling just fine after halftime. It's Michael Jones now is going to be attended to down on the field. And looking back at the first half, at the end of the first half, you know, Oklahoma has one of the best quarterbacks, if not the best quarterback in the nation. If you're Lincoln Riley, why do you gamble with the Wildcat formation? Players handling the ball that don't normally handle the ball and not let your Heisman Trophy candidate quarterback just lead the way. That's a great question, you know, and and same can be asked on the other side. You know, they drop back and pass for Kansas State when they were run the ball so proficiently. Sometimes these these coaches and this can happen more on the offensive side, you, you know, and this is. It's going to be a criticism, but it happens to everybody. You look at your play sheet and you start thinking to yourself, like, oh, I want to get to that because I remember, you know, on film this looked so good. Mm. And, and at times you can hunt ghosts on Tuesday night and Wednesday night that come back to haunt you on Saturday because you won't just stick with what's working. Another way to say it is don't get bored. If it's working, just don't get bored. First down at the 45, Mayfield. Hands it off, Anderson. And he powers his way through the hole. Jade Kirby again with the tackle. And Oklahoma will get to the line of scrimmage quickly. Mayfield will throw it, pump fake. Looks the other way, dumps it off. Rodney Anderson squares his shoulders, huge gain. As he'll go down inside the Kansas State 25. What I love about him is that he's going to have his eyes all over the left side and then come all the way back after the pump fake, move his feet, and get to the swing route on the right. So tough to defend. They'll swing it out wide. Badette. And Badette out of bounds. Sean Newland pushes him out. Oklahoma moving quickly now. Yeah, this looks more like the first series of the ball game for Oklahoma. They marched right down the field. They were able to score a touchdown. They did not have a rhythm after that. A lot of that was because of the fact that Kansas State was able to hold the ball in the time of possession with their run game but now they've established that rhythm here with the first series of the second half. Sixth play of the drive that started at the OU 20. Mayfield the hitch on the far side to Bedette and he'll pick up the first down. Newland again defensively. I mean, he dropped down like he was a shortstop. That was like Jose Altuve turning a double play or something for the Astros. Watch Baker Mayfield as he just quickly dips down, just kind of slings it out, slot sidearm right on the money. That's how to get the ball out quickly to your wide receiver. Matthew Stafford, maybe? Yeah, Stafford does that a lot. He's got that quick release. Even Rodgers will do that. He'll dip down, go three quarters at times to get the ball out quicker. First down at the 14. Opening series of the second half for Oklahoma. Lamb in motion. Mayfield runs it. Gets outside. What a move. Look at the quick feet of the quarterback. Touchdown, OU. 14 yards. I mean, this guy has got some moves on the outside. Check out the move that he puts on the corner. D.J. Reed, who's one of the best defenders from Kansas State, and bang, he moves him to the inside and then just out sprints him to the pylon. What a play. So Baker Mayfield leads Oklahoma into the end zone to start the second half. 21 to 16 now. Sooners coming out, playing with a lot of urgency on offense. They're going to put this under further review, probably because that ball was in the left hand, but I didn't see anything there. I never remotely say that that was not a touchdown. He beat both defenders to the pylon. This will be a good angle here. Certainly by that angle, it looks like it went right over the top of the pylon. Certainly breaking the plane for a touchdown. And that, if it stands, will be his second rushing touchdown of the season. I mean, he's been really their threat on the ground today. 
Gus, over now 60 yards, if this stands on the ground, over 12 yards a carry for Mayfield so far today. And you and Baker have had a chance to talk on a number of times, communicating with each other via text. And what kind of kid is he? After review, the rolling on the field stands. Touchdown. He's, and, and this is, I think, the greatest misconception about Baker Mayfield. Baker is one of the most team-oriented players that I've ever had the ability to, to converse with and chat with at the quarterback position. And that's one thing. His swagger and some of those things, the flag at, at, at Ohio State and so on and so forth, what he was doing with the Baylor fans and players before the game and in, in, in that game in Waco, his teammates love that. They feed off of the emotion that Mayfield gives them. And he understands that, and that's part of the reason he is that way. Extra point is good by Seibert. Start of the third quarter, Baker Mayfield. Using his legs. Back to Manhattan right after this. Fox College football is sponsored by Dodge. Domestic, not domesticated. By Wendy's Fresh Never Frozen Beef Hamburgers. The official hamburger of the NCAA. And by Dickey's Flex, engineered to move. And Baker Mayfield was moving on that last drive. They went seven plays, covering 80 yards, scoring in only two minutes and 39 seconds. As Oklahoma makes it a 21 to 17 game. Kansas State ready to get the football for the first time in the second half. Seibert will kick it off. Pringle, Harris are the deep men. This one dribbled and picked up at the 25-yard line, and Kansas State will start at their own 35. Today's Duluth Trading Company, hardest working player is Alex Delp, the quarterback. This guy has done it all. I tell you what, this run game for Kansas State has been so effective. They chewed up 256 yards on the ground. 138 of those were from Alex Delton on 15 carries, almost 10 a pop. I love the patience with which he ran with and the toughness, showing the ability, even from the quarterback position, to run between the tackles, understand the run game, and take some of those hits in the middle of the field. Delton has carried the ball 15 of the 24 times that Kansas State has elected to run it. First and 10 of the 35. Here's Zuber. Nothing. Nicely done. As Amani Bledsoe and Kenneth Murray come up with the tackle. Well, Kenneth Murray is showing some serious speed. You know, he's the type of guy, he's not a huge guy. 6'2", 240 pounds. He's kind of perfect as the modern day linebacker because he's fast enough to cover in space and then on those jet sweeps like you just saw he's got the speed to run him down from the middle of the field he's a terrific young player second down and 12 after the two yard loss at the 33 Alex Barnes lines up next to Delton Delton picking and drop for a loss Great job by Emmanuel Beal. Well, this is exactly what was not happening in the first half. Beal was getting caught up and blocked by the tight ends and running backs. But here, he slips by the block of the pulling guard, Tyler Mitchell, and he takes Dilton down in the backfield. That's a much better job from the Oklahoma standpoint of getting off blocks in order to make the tackle. A loss of one, third and 13 at the 32. Passing down for Kansas State. Let's see if Oklahoma brings pressure. Zuber the motion man. They find him. Zuber breaks one tackle, but will not even get close to a first down. A one yard gain as Kenneth Mann and Will Johnson drill him. And Kansas State will punt. Great pursuit from Oklahoma on the entire series. They were lined up correctly, they pursued the football well, and they made quality open field tackles. All three things they struggled with at times in the first half. That's a great adjustment by Mike Stoops at halftime. Nick Walsh will punt it away from the 19. C.B. Lamb, the deep man, lets it take a bounce, and it will be downed at the 25. 
a flag over there on the far side. Interesting spot for a flag. Thrown way back by the side judge on the far side, well behind the play, as if there was some sort of 12th player or some issue on the Oklahoma sideline. There is no foul on the play. The uh, receiving team was not given a fair opportunity to match up. We're going to replay fourth down. Okay, so on a substitution, the officials have to allow. See, the punt team runs on, and so Oklahoma is trying to get their punt return team, and the officials did not allow the substitution to take place. They should have stayed over the ball, and so kind of an officiating error, and it was corrected within the crew before the penalty was actually called. So we'll re replay the down. Nice job by the officials there to at least get together and, and understand that the mechanics were not quite proper before that punt took place. So Nick Walsh ranks fifth in school history with his career 42 yard average. He kicked a career long 64 yarder last week against TCU. All Big 12 in 2015. CB Lamb, the freshman. 10 3 1. And we'll start on my ready for play. I am the freshman is back deep Gus, I've always thought that as a, a punt returner it's more difficult to catch a punt when it's going with the wind like it is right now and another flag fielded at the 25 by lamb Chess match continues between Coach Schneider and Coach Riley. During the kick, holding, holding. Receiving, receiving team, team. number six, 10 yard penalty, first down. 10 24 to go in the third quarter. Oklahoma trailing to Kansas State, but coming up, Baker Mayfield back on the field, ready to lead the Sooners. Ball presented by Volkswagen is sponsored by Farmers Insurance. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. 16 miles away from here in Wamego, Kansas, is the Oz Museum. It houses over 2,000 artifacts related to the fantasy created by L. Frank Baum. While visiting the museum, you can see items from the 1939 MGM musical Wizard of Oz, as well as rare Oz artifacts we are in kansas manhattan the little apple mayfield familiar with this place finds his tight end andrews and mark andrews wrapped up and taken down by trent tanking well, this offense clearly had a rhythm on their last possession went right down the field they were able to score on their opening possession in the second half and more tempo here on their second possession Fourth catch of the day for Andrews. Second and five of the 18. Mayfield steps up, wants to run it, has a first down, and gets down at the 29. I'd like to see Mayfield slide a little I was bit there, say, wouldn't you? I think in the, like faintly, I hear every Sooner fan in Oklahoma from here yelling slide. <laughs> Baker Mayfield as he takes off and gains good yardage enough for a first down. Brown in the backfield now. First and 10 of the 29. Baker Mayfield to throw it. Sideline. Caught out of bounds. Marquise Brown with a 25 yard gain. This is great formation. You put a wide receiver in the backfield and then you allow him to run that swing route. It's really more of a wheel route. You match up against a linebacker, a clear advantage for you as an offense, and Mayfield puts him on, puts it on him right down the sideline. Terrific design from Lincoln Riley there. 
First down to the 45. Rodney Anderson, and he'll lower his shoulder. Trent tanking. Finally drops him after a six yard pickup. Creates these short yarded second down situations. Mayfield moving quickly. Pump fake, double pump over the middle. Incomplete. Andrews had it, just couldn't hold on. Yeah, that's a ball he normally comes down with. One of the most sure handed wide receivers slash tight ends in all of college football. This is a guy I think is going to play a long time in the National Football League. Maybe one of the two, three, maybe four best tight ends in college football as you look forward to next year's NFL draft. Oklahoma, though, in these situations, they have not been good. Third down, they're 0 for 4 converting against this Kansas State defense. From the 39, third down, empty backfield for Mayfield. He usually runs it in this situation. Throws it quickly and caught. First down, Brown again. Sophomore from Hollywood, Florida. Boy, the, the play just does not work unless he's that quick and accurate with the ball. Check it out again. Flips his hip and just dives down with that arm. Throws it three-quarter out there to Brown, who is able to convert and move the chains for the first third down conversion of the game for the Sooners. First down to the 34. The previous play is under further review. Sure they're going to take a look at this spot. Candidly, I think they've been a little overzealous in the replay booth tonight. Taking a look at too many plays that are Not going to give you a camera angle that's going to change things. The left knee's down, but you know he's stretching out. Ball's in the right hand, and that's a pretty clear first down from from my vantage point. We've seen it, Gus, three or four stoppages of mm -hmm. play on, on plays that really should never be stopped. I remember what was it last week? Urban Meyer called you, and he wanted you to send a, a message to some of the replay guys. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. You got to tell the fans that story. Well, <laughs> let's just say Coach Meyer, Meyer said a couple of times, I'm not telling you what to say, but someone should say <laughs> <laughs> these replay guys. <laughs> oh, man. I'd say, well, these coaches that we get to meet with and chat with, uh, it's a real pleasure. It's, it's one of the joys of the job, really, what we get to do and take an awful long time to Guys, this is a pretty clear first down. If you're upset about time, game time. I'm not. I'm not either. We don't have anywhere to go. Nothing to do but watch these brilliant athletes. I'm, I'm with you. I'd and love get ready for Michigan Penn State later I, on tonight. I, I, <laughs> or TCU Kansas. Or TCU Kansas, uh, that's right. I, I love college football as well. Some fans would say the games are taking too long, right? We catch a lot of flack as a network, but hey. Take a look at what's going on right here. Well, these officials want to get it right, and that's the most important thing. Yeah, they do a, such a wonderful good, job. It's such a clear first down. After review, the ruling on the field stands as called on the field. First down. So we just took two minutes for something that was going to stand the whole time anyways. And partner, I hate to say it, you'll never get those two minutes back. <laughs> it's over. I'll tell you, you're a wise man. You get no. 21-17, so here come the Sooners. They get the first down. You know, from player's perspective, though, not just the fans' perspective, it takes all the rhythm out of the drive. This is a rhythm offense. Now, all of a sudden, you got to go out there, and lo and behold, they're going to change things up. Kyler Murray now at quarterback for Oklahoma on first and ten. So Murray in the shotgun with Anderson next to him. And Murray hands it off to Anderson, and another first down. Almost broke free, Rodney Anderson. Mayfield has been brilliant with his feet, but Murray is the more dangerous runner. And now on that zone read, the defense has to respect him. And Murray will run it himself this time. And 
Kyler Murray never lost a game in high school. He was 43 and 0 and won three state titles for Allen High School. Mayfield coming back on. The kid threw for 14,500 yards, so he is the heir apparent. He's a brilliant baseball player. Of course, started his career at Texas A&M, transferred out, was one of the top recruits in the entire country. And right after I was saying he was such a dangerous runner, he falls over his own feet for a three yard game. Way to go. There you go. Second and eight at the 20. Mayfield runs it. And Mayfield taken down behind the line of scrimmage this time. Well done by Jade Kirby. We've been mentioning his name the entire day. Yeah, he's had a terrific ball game. Senior from Blooming Grove, Texas. He's a transfer from Navarro College, as so many are here at Kansas State over the years, from the junior college ranks. And now he gets his team in position to potentially force a kick here on third down. They need seven. Play clock winding down. Mayfield gets it off in time. Baker Mayfield bottled up. Wants to run on the move. Batted away. Oh! What a catch by Marquise Brown. Incredible. He just snatched it out of the air. But a flag on the play. And if this catch stands. Maybe the best of the year in college football. Pass interference. Offense, number three. 15 yard penalty. Replay third down. Michael Jones. Well, here's the catch in the end zone. Oh, my goodness. Just spectacular athleticism and concentration. Did it stay above the turf? No. no, it did not. And it would not have mattered anyways. Let's go back to the penalty. Michael Jones, number three. He's down the field just in a stock blocking motion. You cannot be blocking if you're going to throw the ball down the field like that. Clearly a missed assignment from Jones, and it presents just a terrible situation because now I don't know with the wind blowing left to right if they're even in field goal range unless they can gain six or seven yards. It will be a 51 yard field goal. If they can't gain any yards, that would. From this particular point, third down and 22 at the 34. And the officials talking it over once again. Come on, guys. The result of the play was an incompleted forward pass. Kansas State has an option on the penalty. They can obviously decline and make it a fourth down, but from where it was, that that puts them in field goal range. If you force them to snap it here and they don't gain yards, it would be fourth and seven from the 19-yard line if they were to decline this penalty after the incomplete pass. But again, that puts them clearly in field goal range. If they take the penalty, they still have to play third down. It would be third and 22 from the 34 yard line. So what do you do if you're Bill Snyder? I would take the penalty and force them to have a third and 22 because now I've got a chance to get out of here with no points on the board versus. You know with a very good kicker and Seibert. Three on the, board. on the field was an incompleted forward pass. It will be fourth down on the 19 yard line for uh, Oklahoma. So Bill Snyder declines the penalty and now Lincoln Riley as he should trots out a very good kicker in Austin Seibert. Austin Seibert. Good from 19 yards. Today and his only attempt came into this game five of seven. This season with a long of 36 yards. This will be from 36 yards away. Way clean and how simple can it get for Austin Seibert? 5:57 to play, third quarter. 
One point game in Manhattan. Two things I love about college football, driving in, seeing all the tailgating and the sights and the sounds, and then five minutes before the kick. Yes. You know, that fever pitch when the band is still playing and, oh, teams are about to run out. It's the best. The pageantry of the college game. And they'll kick this one short again for the Wildcats, and they'll start around the 35. Let's go to Greg Wolf for a game break in Los Angeles. Gus, thanks. Over on FS1, coming up, it's Game 7 of the ALCS between the Yankees and Astros with the winner headed to the World Series to face the Dodgers. The Astros have not lost a game at Minute Maid Park this entire postseason. Can they get one more? Live coverage is underway over on FS1. Gus, Joel, back to you. All right, you were a professional baseball player out of the Padres organization as you take a look at the two pitchers that will start the game. I kind of like Sabathia. You know, he's just seasoned. He's pitched really well in this postseason. Something tells me he's going to deliver a gym again tonight. Right now, Alex Delton has been producing a gym himself, running the ball just like this as he squirts through the hole and gets to the 41. Will Johnson with the tackle. And this is a gut check moment for an offense. This is when your leadership has got to be its best. When you've had a big lead, it was 21-7 at one point. Now Oklahoma has scratched their way back into this ball game at 21-20. It's time to get back to what was successful in the first half, which is the quarterback run of Alex Delton. Oklahoma has scored 13 straight points since K-State went up 21-7. Second and five. Delton, quarterback run. Delton squeezes through the hole and picks up a first down. There's just no reason to do anything else if you're Kansas State until Oklahoma proves that they can stop this offense. You look at what they've been able to do with Delton. Now, passing the football, it's not going to look great, but running the ball, he has been so effective. 147 yards, two touchdowns. Both lead their team in rushing, as well as obviously throwing the football. Baker Mayfield is... Done his part getting his team back in position here. Now Delton on the field. Looks like they're going to try to bleed this thing out and continue that run game. Here's Delton running it. And Delton breaking tackles. Stopped by Caleb Kelly. And I tell you, when you look at the way Delton is running the ball, you know how Bill Snyder likes to play. It just reminds you of this young man. Colin Klein mm. won the Unitas Award, and he was a Heisman finalist in 2012. I still have the Band-Aid can. <laughs> that they sent to me as a Heisman voter in my bathroom right now right. with Klein's picture on it and Band-Aids in it because remember he was so bruised, every, so bloody. Every game. Every game. What a player. What a great, great young man. Player down. In the huddle with my partner here, Joel Klatt on Facebook Live Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Sponsored by Dr. Pepper. We're talking about some of the great games happening, clearly right here in Manhattan, Kansas. How about Dino Babers in Syracuse? Beat Clemson last week, putting up a great effort in Miami as well today. Second down and eight at the 48. There's on the state playing well. Sun Devils beating Washington a week ago. Delton hands it off. Demo. And Dimmel dropped by Caleb Kelly behind the line of scrimmage. Oh, this is not the position that they've had any success whatsoever because every time they've been able to throw with success, speaking of Kansas State, it's been on the back of play action and being able to sneak the tight ends or the slot receivers, in particular Dalton showing down the field with the eyes of the safety in the backfield. But on this down and distance, you're not going to fool the linebackers and the safeties like you would be able to on third and short. So third down and 10 at the 46 for Alex Delton. Delton will throw it, looking for 10 yards. Runs out of the pocket. And just goes out of bounds at midfield. He will not have enough Kenneth Murray. Make sure that he pushes him out of play. 
And that's the exact situation I was talking about, is that you, you don't have any ability to affect the secondary, so their eyes are just going to be planted on the quarterback. It's tough for him to run. They can sit in zone coverage, which is tough to throw against for an inexperienced quarterback like Alex Delton. They dropped everybody in coverage, and he had nowhere to go with the ball. So the second punt of the game for Nick Walsh. As Lamb prepares to return it. And the fair catch made at the six. 313 to go third quarter. Mayfield comes back on the field, trailing by one. Let's go to LA for a game break. Gus, we go to East Lansing, Indiana, number 18, Michigan State, playing for the old brass platoon. LJ Scott, nice run here for an 18-yard touchdown. Put Sparty up 17 to 9, and that's how it would end. Michigan State trailed late into the fourth quarter, but they pull it out to improve the six and one. Gus, Joel, back to you. Tell you what, we call the Michigan State Notre Dame game in East Lansing, Michigan State losing that game to the Fighting Irish. But since then, they have been top shelf. Yeah, themselves, you know, and, and they don't really care how, how pretty it looks. They're like, hey, step into the phone booth with us, and I guarantee you we're going to be the ones that walk out at the end of the day. That's kind of how they play. Baker Mayfield starts from his own seven yard line, hands it off to Anderson. Anderson breaks a tackle, burst of speed down the sideline, and finally knocked out of bounds by Jade Kirby at the 40. A 36 yard run for Rodney Anderson. And this offensive line starting to win the line of scrimmage. They're playing with great tempo, back up, ready to go again. Mayfield looking over the middle. Caught by Andrews as he slides down at the 41. I mean, just how quickly. I mean, this drive starts inside their own 10, and they're on the ball already at the 42. First down at the 42. Mayfield to the sideline, and this time it's Jordan Smallwood. Yards after the catch. Finally, Reggie Walker gets him from behind. Well, this is the situation that Lincoln Riley, second down, manageable down in distance. About five left, Gus, he loves to go deep. He, he loves to take a shot. Now, there are two safeties deep, but watch for something down the field here. Second and five into 37. Play fake. Mayfield rolls on the move, and incomplete. Andrews took his eyes off it. He tried to turn his head before he had secured the ball, Joel. Yeah, and that's, again, uncharacteristic for Andrews, and that's why he's giving a little bit of a wry smile back at his quarterback right now. What do you say to your receivers? when they a, drop balls a guy like Andrews nothing because he's been so consistent for so long he gets back in the huddle I'd maybe tap him on the butt and say hey let's go do it here that's it because he knows he's not trying to fail he knows that ball was put right on the money third down five at the 37 Anderson out of the backfield splits as a wide receiver at the top of your screen Mayfield's got incredible wheels Mayfield delivers underneath and it's caught once again by the speedy Marquise Brown. An 18 yard pickup for Hollywood, Florida's Marquise Brown. First down to the 19. Again, here's Hollywood. Tried to break a tackle and goes down after a half yard gain. Jade Kirby, the senior from Blooming Grove, Texas. Well, the pace has been ratcheted up on this series. They have not played at this fast a tempo all day long, and that's why you see some of these Wildcats a bit tired because they've gone the length of the field in a very short time on this series, and now they finally slow it down here. It's set up Mayfield deep. Second and nine of the 18. Oklahoma has not led this game. Anderson in the backfield. They'll give it to the big fella, breaks it back, powers his way forward. Tell you what, Rodney Anderson has been putting in some work today, folks. I love his story, too. Rodney Anderson suffered a season-ending injury in 2015 in his knee and in 2016 last year in his neck. He's a four-star recruit. He's just a sophomore, and this is certainly a breakout performance for him. He's running the ball incredibly well. Just one carry in the previous two seasons combined due to those injuries. Nine carries, 81 yards in this game. Third and three from the 12. Mayfield, sideline, Andrews. This time he secures it 
gets out of bounds after picking up a first down. And that's why I would never say something to him previously in this drive when he dropped the pass, because I know I'm coming back to him on a third down, a crucial snap. Andrews is going to be the target. It wouldn't surprise me if they targeted him here in the end zone on the next couple of plays is because he is so good in his route running and he's normally so sure handed that he's probably the receiver that Baker Mayfield trusts the most in the back end. 6'5", 254 pounds. Mark Andrews from Scottsdale, Arizona. First and goal of the seven. And they'll hand it off straight ahead to Anderson. And he'll get inside the five. And that could take us to the end of the third quarter. Tanner Wood with the tackle. So that will take us to the end of the third. 21 to 20 coming up the fourth quarter. Can Kansas State hold on to the lead? Or will Oklahoma put it in overdrive? College football is sponsored by Volkswagen. Bill Snyder Family Stadium. This is the 38th consecutive sellout dating back to 2013. As we take a look at the scoring by quarters. As a 21-7 lead for Kansas State in the second quarter, and it's really been all Oklahoma since. And a lot of this guy, Baker Mayfield, has kind of clawed his way back into this ball game. Quality offensive line play. They've been running the ball well, and now inside the five-yard line, ready to punch it in. Tenth play of the drive that started at the Oklahoma seven yard line. Second and goal of the four. Rodney Anderson, the power back in the game. Mayfield finds Anderson in the flats and he's upended before he could get downhill by the Duke. Duke Shelley. Yeah, Duke Shelley has played that specific route so well. He comes off of the wide receiver. He's the corner, Duke Shelley, and he's very experienced. 23 games over the last three years starts and he's not fooled when the wide receiver runs inside he stays outside and he's able to stop that swing pass third down and goal of the three don't be surprised if Mayfield tries to run this one in himself and Andrews is at the bottom of your screen in the slot here's Baker runs it Mayfield touchdown OU second rushing touchdown of the day for Baker Mayfield. We're all over it, partner. Mayfield has done a lot of damage with his feet today, and that continues here on this drive. And Joel, there's just something magical about this kid. You just want to watch him play. You can't take your eyes off of him. Well, there's the entertainment factor. There's also the belief that his teammates have. There was no panic in this team down 21-7. You know why? Because number six is their quarterback. Their offense doesn't panic. No one's trying to do more than their own job, and he just systematically has br brought them back in this game to a point now they'll go for two to try to make it a seven-point lead. Going for two, 287 yards passing for Baker. He's rushed for two touchdowns. Rodney Anderson in the backfield. First charge timeout, Kansas State. So Kansas State calls a timeout and say what you want to about Baker Mayfield. This kid is a winner. We'll go into his numbers after this. Football is sponsored by Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. By the 2018 Kia Sorento. And by Go RVing. Find your away. Go RVing. Welcome back, Baker Mayfield and the Sooners going for two. Mayfield rolls, throws, two-point conversion complete. Dimitri Flowers and Oklahoma takes a 28-21 lead, their first lead of the game. And we talked to you about Baker Mayfield and his ability to win football games. He is tied with Ohio State's JT Barrett as the winningest active quarterbacks in FBS Division I. Mayfield 
32 and 7. Barrett is 32 and 5. And by the way, Mayfield was 25 and 2 as a starter in two varsity seasons at Austin Powerhouse Lake Travis High School. So, Joel, that's 57 and 9 as a starting quarterback. I tell you, his confidence is off the charts. What I. I gotta, I've never quite seen a guy that has the efficiency and the completion percentage that Mayfield has and yet plays with that swagger and risk taking and putting the ball down the field almost like a gunslinger. It doesn't make any sense, right? The two are like, supposed to be like oil and water and yet he's got them mixed perfect like peas and carrots. Peas and carrots, I like that for us. So Cyber will send it away. He kicks this one out of the end zone once again. Let's go to Greg Wolf for a game break in Los Angeles. Gus, thanks. Syracuse trying to play giant killer again after ending Clemson's perfect season last week. It was a one-point game against Miami until Travis Homer breaks free. 33-yard run to put the Hurricanes up 27-19, and that's how it would end. The Hurricanes improve to 6-0. Gus, Joel, back to you. All right, thank you very much, Greg. You know what I think it is, Joel, with Baker Mayfield, the reason he's so successful at OU? What's up? It's that headband right there. Because <laughs> you know who used to wear a headband like that at Oklahoma? Who? Thomas Lott. Oh, I like that. That's a good call. You may not remember him, but he used to Baker. wear it. He said he wore it because he wanted pub. <laughs> Way back then. <laughs> he got it. <laughs> First and 10 at the 25. Here's a handoff to Silliman. And Silman unable to get around the corner because Caleb Kelly said, not on my watch. Yeah, the pursuit has been so much different in this second half. Every single time that Kansas State tries to run the ball, in particular on the outside, this fast defense has three, four of those maroon hats on the outside that are forcing them out of bounds, making the tackle. There's a host of white jerseys ready for those plays. And it seems like they're starting to shut down the quarterback run from Alex Delton. You, you know, they... Candidly, they really haven't, but what they have done is forced Kansas State to get away from it, or they've taken advantage of it when Kansas State has gone away from it on their own accord. I see. Second and ten. Now Delton thought about throwing it. Reverse it. Oh, he has dropped at the 20. That's a big time tackle by Obo. There is a flag on the play, but Obo Okorongwo and his closing speed. Surprised Alex Delton. Alex Delton did not expect Okoronkwo to get to him that quickly. Offense, number 79. That penalty is declined. Result of play, third down. That was Adam Holtorf, the center, number 79. But I, Okoronkwo, he's right here on the kind of the end and the outside. And then right here, he just closes in and boom, he makes the tackle. This guy has great length and athleticism. He's a terrific tackler. And that's another tackle for loss of sack. Broker Ronquo. Richard Sr. from Houston. Third down and 14 at the 21. He's had a sack in every game this year. Doesn't have one today. Let's see if he can get it. Here's Delton. Screen. Silman. And Silman goes out of bounds on third and 14. He gains about eight. Think of that play sequence, though. A run on the outside that's not Alex Dillon. They try to throw a pass that then they get a hold on. Okoronkwo makes a tackle for loss. And then they try a screen pass. You know, that's it's not a huge deficit. I, I don't quite understand why Kansas State wouldn't just stick with that quarterback run that got them to this point. Walsh sends it away to Lamb. He backpedals. Starts from the 20. Lamb. Making himself small and finally wrestled down at 25. 51 yard punt, five yard return, 12.51 to go. Oklahoma with the lead and the football. Well, folks, next Saturday, my partner and I will be in Columbus, Ohio, for a Big Ten showdown between two top 10 teams as the second ranked Nittany Lions. Take on the sixth ranked Ohio State Buckeyes. Action begins at 3 p.m. Eastern. College football on Fox. Every game is everything. Oklahoma with the football, first and 10 of the 25. Mayfield 
Over the middle, caught by Dimitri Flowers, and Flowers gets to the 40. Great play fake from Mayfield, draws the defense in, and then he finds Flowers right over the middle. You know, they do that. They hide those fullback tight end types so well in the offense. They have a block for a couple of seconds, make a big run fake, and then Baker Mayfield pulls that ball out and finds him right over the middle as good as anybody in the college football. 14-yard gain. They hand it to Anderson. Anderson closing in on 100 yards rushing. And now you're starting to see fatigue yep. from the Kansas State Wildcats defense. Trey Dishon with the tackle. Yeah, and, and, you know, from Mayfield's standpoint, this guy is so rare. His feet are terrific, but just not in the traditional quarterback sense. It's more like a middle infielder, you know, in, in the pocket. Derek Jeter. Yeah, he flips his hips and he gets himself set for a quick release. He's a gunslinger, yet he can. He controls the game and throws with great completion percentage and accuracy. I mean, he's, he's so efficient. He's just he's just a rare player, and it's a joy to watch him play. Second and three at the 46. And Anderson running. He'll pick up the first down and more. Anderson breaking away. Finally dragged down at the 30-yard line by Jade Kirby. But there is a flag. Yeah, there was some serious blocking slash kind of like hand fighting going on on the outside between Jordan Smallwood and it looks like DJ Reed is the corner on that side holding, of the field. Holding. Offense number 17 10 yard penalty replay second down. So watch at the top of your screen that's Smallwood going against DJ Reed and kind of gives him a shove then there's kind of a hold and they're both kind of holding each other's jerseys and yeah I mean Candidly, I don't know how you throw the flag on one play. I mean, they were both had a fistful of jersey for each other, but the hold goes against Oklahoma and negates a really nice run again from Rodney Anderson, who's getting a chance to play today because Abdul Adams, normally kind of the backup to Trey Sermon, has been banged up. They want to get him healthy, and Rodney Anderson, he's the guy who has stepped up and played so well today. 91 yards, that's a career high. Second and five. Mayfield rolls out, throws, caught, first down, Andrew. And when we talked maybe a couple of years ago about Baker Mayfield, and I asked you, did you think he had pro potential? You were kind of on the fence. Yeah. Different story now. I, yeah, because of his efficiency, right? And he, he gets the ball down the field. I'm not saying he's going to be exactly these guys at the next level, but he's got size and efficiency like Breeze or Russell Wilson. His feet reminds me of Aaron Rodgers, yet he plays with a rare type of swagger and energy like Brett Favre. You know, there's going to be a spot for him in the National Football League. Maybe it's a backup. I'm not sure, but this guy, he knows how to win. Flea flicker. And he'll just dump it. And a flag. Looks like a late hit. Mayfield getting up slowly. Went after him kind of low. Eli Walker had his left leg wrapped up, and Mayfield's limping around. Intentional grounding, number six. Quarterback relinquished possession of the ball, regained possession. He must have a receiver in the area when he grounds it. Lost it down at the spot of the foul, second down. Yeah, this is. Mm, Kick myself for not realizing this right, but on the flea flicker, you forego the right then to be able to just throw the ball away once you leave the pocket. So those protections are not afforded you because you're not at that point deemed kind of the original quarterback. Right there, there's the flea flicker, and then Mayfield's there. So in his mind, he's like, I'm outside of the pocket, I can throw wherever I want intuitively, and yet that rule prevents it. That's a good call by the officials. So second and 18. Anderson has had his way with this Kansas State defense in the second half. He's 218 pounds. Mayfield hands it to Anderson. This time he gets belted. Jay Kirby and Reggie Walker. A great opportunity here for Kansas State to try to get off the field. Seven point game, lots of time left. 10 26, 25 now and counting in the fourth quarter. And they're going to take Mayfield out of the game here. And Kyler Murray is going to come into the game on third and 18. Boy, if this is not a signal that they're going to try to run some sort of zone read, I don't know what is. There's no reason you'd pull Mayfield out of the game and then throw the ball down the field. Third down, 18 at the 43. Mm -hmm. 
Murray. Quarterback run. And he's tackled from behind. Won't even get close to the first down. Reggie Walker. With the tackle. Wow, great job by Kansas State. Taking advantage there of the miscue. Mayfield throws it away after the flea flicker. They get behind the chains. Kansas State takes advantage. Now they're going to have an opportunity here to try to set themselves up for a drive in the fourth quarter. So Cyber to punt it away from the 31. Pringle and Isaiah Harris are the deep men for the Wildcats. Oh, he lost it. Cyber picks it up, still can't grab it. Loose ball, Kansas State has it. What a play. Colby Moore has never made a bigger play in his career. The snap was a bit high. Cyber tried to go up, goes right through his hands, but now is where the mistake happens. He tries to pick it up, doesn't get it done, and Colby Moore was there to fall on the football and set his offense up inside the 15-yard line. What a huge play for the Wildcats. An enormous mistake by Cyber trying to pick that ball up and not just kick it out of the end zone or fall on it right there at the 15. But can Kansas State pay it off? They need six. First down and 10 at the 13. Delton. And Delton will pick up a couple as Will Johnson makes the tackle. Oklahoma is selling everybody out to stop the quarterback run. As soon as they've got two backs in the backfield, they've run that lead type of counter play every single time. And the opposite safety on that play was Will Johnson, and he came screaming up there. This might be a time for a little bit of a play action pass, trying to slip the tight end past the safety. Watch Pringle, receiver at the top of your screen. He has great moves. And they'll run it. Barnes goes inside the 10. Caleb Kelly with the tackle. And that brings up third down and five. Boy, not a bigger snap in this game after the drop snap by Cyber. Is this four down territory for Kansas I don't, State? I don't think I don't think so yet with eight minutes left. It might be with the way that their offense has has been stymied in this second half. This might be their best chance here. Third down and five at the eight. Delton has been effective running the football from his quarterback spot. He'll run it this time. Gets a hole! And he's down at the one. I tell you what, this Kansas State offensive line, these are a bunch of tough dudes. Yes, because Oklahoma knows what's coming, and yet they're still able to stay on their blocks and find the hole to get Delton a conversion for a first down. First down and goal at the one for Kansas State. Alex Delton will run it. Did he get in? No signal yet, and it looks like he's short. I don't have any idea how you would even officiate that. I mean, it just disappears in the sea of humanity, and you kind of see right here, there's the ball, and the official's got a good look from that far side. This is the far side camera, and he deems that the progress had been stopped before that last little push. So it's him down to the half yard line. So the ball is actually on the one inch line. There you go. That's all Kansas State needs. Second and goal at the one. Delton again will run it. And this time he gets in for the touchdown. The mighty Wildcats continue to fight. Third rushing touchdown of the day for Alex Delton. A sophomore from Hayes, Kansas, making only his second career start at quarterback. You know, it's one thing 
for the opposition to make a mistake. It's another thing to capitalize on it. And Kansas State comes out there with a short field, and they stick with what got them to this point. The quarterback run, the lead power with the quarterback, and ultimately they find themselves in the end zone and just an extra point away from tying this thing up. Six minutes and 40 seconds remaining. So much on the line for this man. After the TCU loss, they knew they had to go back to the drawing board and figure some things out for their players. Extra point, good. We're tied. 28-28, 6.40 to go. Here comes OU on offense right after this. 28-28. Oklahoma, the ninth-ranked team in the nation, level with Kansas State. So with 640 remaining at Oklahoma, they're expecting to have an opportunity as this one will be fielded at the 15-yard line by Anderson. Oklahoma expects to play for the national championship. They expect to have a chance to go to the playoff. So with 635 remaining, partner, is it safe to say that at 28 up, this is almost like an elimination game of sorts for the Sooners. No question about it. 635 for basically their season right here for Oklahoma. Tie ball game, one of the best players in America is your quarterback. Defense that has played a lot better, but a mistake puts you in this position. I don't think they even go to the Big 12 championship game with two losses out of this conference. Remember, Iowa State won again today. They've only got one loss. If they want to play for all the things that they dreamed of playing, they're going to have to come back in this 635 and win this ball game. First down and 10 of the 26. Mayfield, play fake. Mayfield delivers. Brown, Hollywood, Brown, down the sideline. And he goes down at the five. A 67-yard game. Baker Mayfield says, we are ready. Man, I mean, he had time in the pocket and just delivered a strike way down the middle of the field. Great play by Brown to spin back to the outside, find the space to get down the sideline and set them up here for a first and goal. First and goal at the eight. It takes them one play to go 67 yards. Mayfield puts Brown in motion. They hand it off to Anderson, gets downhill, but Kansas State meets him right at the point. Trent tanking with the tackle. Trent tanking. He was ready for that, not faked by that jet sweep motion. Former walk-on, he's been a huge factor on special teams the last three years. He's playing a huge role on this defense, one of the leaders that Coach Snyder talked to us about. And this is where your leaders have got to be their best as Lincoln Riley tries to think of something to get this ball into the end zone. Second and goal at the five. Anderson over 100 yards rushing now on 14 carries. Mayfield delivers. Anderson dies! Touchdown! Where's Spencer Tillman? Over the top. Just a check down to Anderson who goes, whoa! Way up over the top. Eli Walker tried to go low with the safety for Kansas State. Anderson was ready. Gets the ball into the end zone. What a drive. The magic of Mayfield. Game tied at 28. Mayfield, three plays, folks. Go 74 yards in a minute and 19 seconds. Joel, I think you heard, he heard you when you said that this was do or die for the season for the Sooners. Hey, if I want the season in one guy's hands, it's number six. Magic Mayfield leading the way back to Manhattan after this. College football presented by Volkswagen is sponsored by Dr. Pepper. The one fans crave. Thirty five twenty eight Oklahoma Sooners leading Kansas State Baker Mayfield may be getting another letter from Kansas State head coach Bill Snyder. Let's go to Jenny Tab. 
Well, Gus, you're right about that. Coach Schneider is known for those letters. He told us yesterday he likes to do it because he likes to tell good people that they've done well. Baker Mayfield, he's had three of those letters. He told me, I've respected him always. It means a lot. I asked him, are you going to respond? He said, I plan to after this game, but let's wait for the outcome. All right, Jenny, thank you very much. Mayfield, two rushing touchdowns, two passing touchdowns. He completed a two-point conversion, 448 yards in total offense for Baker Mayfield. 35 to 28. Let's sum it up for you here in the second half. Yeah, that first series really set the tone, and Mayfield takes it into the end zone. Great run, beats him to the pylon, takes in another rushing touchdown. This was the mistake from OU after having the lead seven points and allows Kansas State to tie it up. But this guy takes him right down the field. That was just a strike on first down. Anderson up and over for the touchdown, and OU, OU jumps back out in front. That's a championship answer. You know, if they've got championship aspirations, which they do, that's what you have to do, in particular when you're on the road in this type of a fight. First down and 10 to the 25. Alex Delton drops back to throw it. Looking. Let's it go. Up and caught at the 35. Byron Pringle. What up, huh? A gain of 40, his first catch of the day. And Kansas State is in business. Shaking up on the play, but Delton just put this up. Kind of a 50-50 situation. Allowed Pringle to go up and make the catch, and he was able to beat Parnell Motley, the corner, who was in good position, but made a poor play on the ball. And Byron Pringle did a great job of getting to it with his hands and then pulling it in and securing it to his body before going to the ground. First down at 10 at the 35. 440 to go. Kansas State down. 35-28. And a timeout called by K-State. They have one timeout remaining. 437 to go. Back after this. Oklahoma 5-1 on the season. Their only loss at home to Iowa State. Kansas State 3-3 three three on the season. This is where they were last year at 3-3. Three and, three, and then they ended up 6-1 the remainder of the year to finish 9-4. First and 10 at the 35. Delton hands it off. Barnes to the 30. First down, K-State, but a flag. And if it's against K-State, it's their first penalty of the game. Talk about discipline. Holding. Holding, offense, offense. number seven, ten-yard penalty, first down. Isaiah Zuber, the wide receiver, he was blocking way down the field. Again, this is this is one of the things. It's going to come out of the left side of your screen, but it's not going to affect the play. That's what's going to drive coaches mad. Is that you've got great yardage outside of this hold, but there's Zuber, number seven, holding on number ten, Stephen Parker, draws the flag. It is a clear hold, but it just wasn't needed. You know, it was going to be a successful play without that hold. So a first down and nine at the 34. And the handoff to Barnes again. This time, he'll go nowhere. Emmanuel Beal stood him up and took him down. Beal looks like he may be hurt. Beal was shaking up a little bit. Here's Beal, and watch as this block's going to try to come, and he gets over the top of the guard, Abdul Beecham, who gets up. There's the block he's trying to get, and I just thought Beal did a great job of beating him to the spot in order to make that play. A loss of two, second down and 11. Delton's going to have to let this ball fly eventually. Delton to throw it. Delton. To the sideline. Caught at the 10. Once again, Bringo. Big time. 30 yards. It was a great route. Pringle's going to fake the post. This is called a post corner. Here he goes to the inside and he sells it for three steps before going back out to the corner. 
Delton let him out there. Nice completion. He underthrew it a little bit. That's why he's saying my bad. But that's a great completion for a first down. The last two receptions for Pringle. 40 and 30 yards. First and goal at the six. Alex Barnes in the backfield with Delton. Now he may run it. Here he goes. And he'll gain a yard and a half. Maybe two. Emmanuel Beal to stop him. Under three to go. 35-28. Yeah, and there's really one place you're going if you're Kansas State. All right, you have got to run this ball with your quarterback, Alex Delton. They've got the two backs back there in the backfield. Alex Barnes has also been successful running the ball, but you got to keep it in those two hands. Second and goal at the five. Three rushing touchdowns already for Delton. Delton looking to throw it. Caught! Touchdown, K-State! Isaiah Zuber! What a game in Manhattan! Kansas State with 2.25 remaining. An opportunity to level it. Well, they put confidence in their quarterback, and they're just going to get an out route from Zuber. He does a nice job of being patient so that he can gain separation from the safety, Stephen Parker, and that separation creates six points for Kansas State. For the tie. And we are knotted up at 35. Kansas State's Alex Delton playing the game of his life. And it's only his second start at quarterback in his college career. But coming up. Second career start, 12 of 14, 144 yards passing. One touchdown, one interception. Three rushing touchdowns. He's running. He's been running it extremely well. 26 carries, 161 yards and three scores. But on the other sideline. Here's where you try to win the Heisman Trophy in situations like this. Anderson, Baker Mayfield ready to come back on the field. Let's go to Greg Wolf quickly for a game break. Well, speaking of winning the Heisman Trophy, let's go to Happy Valley, Michigan, and Penn State, the nation's all-purpose yardage leader, Saquon Barkley, setting the tone early. Second play from scrimmage, 69-yard score. It's already more rushing yards than the Wolverines have allowed against three of their six opponents. He's added another 15-yard touchdown. Penn State leads 14 to nothing first quarter. Gus, Joel, back to you. Oh, that guy can play football now. Saquon Barkley is the real deal. And now Baker Mayfield, 32 and 7 in his career as a starting quarterback, tied for the most wins in college football with JT Barrett. He's in a tie ball game here in Manhattan, Kansas. First and ten of the 24. And they're running with Anderson. Oklahoma with all three of their timeouts. As Kirby makes the tackle. And they've had success running the football with Rodney Anderson. They've had success throwing the football to the tight end, Mark Andrews, number 81. They've also had success throwing the ball down the field. You know, really, everything is available right now to Oklahoma. Marquise Brown, number five, has been electric. He's in motion right now. They hand it to Anderson. Stutter step through the hole, lowers his shoulder. Power running. Another first down as he falls down at the 40. A 10 yard gain. And the clock is not a factor right now for Oklahoma with three timeouts. But what is a factor is you don't necessarily want to drive right down the field and score, leaving a ton of time for Kansas State. That's why they're moving somewhat methodically, trying to work their way down the field. First and 10 at the 39 yard line. Anderson the pistol back behind Mayfield. Mayfield play fake sets up over the middle and incomplete that ball thrown behind Mark Andrews and he was open. Yeah, I thought it was tipped. It was a linebacker that got way up. Jay Kirby, he was kind of in the area. Did he tip this ball? He did. That's absolutely why it was behind. You know, Mayfield does not throw a ball that far behind a wide receiver. It looks fishy. That's a great play by Kirby, getting his hands into the passing area and affecting that ball for Mayfield. Second down and 10.
Mayfield drops it off to Anderson. Anderson breaking tackles and leaps forward. He gets to the 48-yard line. Denzel Goolsby with the tackle. Now is where you have to be cognizant of the time. You still have three timeouts, but now under a minute. Third and two at the 47. They run it again and a first down. Sooners getting to midfield with 47 seconds remaining. But you can't waste too much time after they set this, set the chains, and start the clock, which the clock is now started. Have to be ready to execute on offense. First down at midfield. Mayfield play action. Mayfield wants to run it, throws it, and incomplete. Anderson, the receiver. Baker Mayfield, smart enough not to take a sack in that situation. Well, you know, but a turnover would have been worse. And with three timeouts, there are times when even a sack in that situation is the prudent play. He put the ball in harm's way right there. He's actually lucky that that did not end up in the hands of a Kansas State Wildcat. 50-yard line, 36 seconds. Now's when time becomes a factor. You can still work every area of the field with the three timeouts. Andrews is their most consistent receiver. He's in motion now going to the top of your screen, but we're going to get a timeout before they can snap it. Timeout, 36 seconds remaining. 35-35. Game tied at 35. Austin Seibert is the place kicker for Oklahoma. Where do they have to go? to get into field goal range. You know, normally, with no wind in normal conditions, Seibert's good from about 40, maybe 45. He's not, he doesn't have a huge leg, but with this win, career long is about 46. He did it in 2015 at Kansas. With this wind, which is a helping wind, I think you can try something in the 50 to 52 range, which puts you at the, Gus, anywhere from the 36 to the 33-yard line. Second down and 10 at midfield for Baker Mayfield. And the Oklahoma Sooners. Mayfield throws it, wants to throw it. Off his back foot, over the middle, caught. And a first down, Michael Jones. A 13-yard gain, and that was a big one. Oklahoma back to the line of scrimmage quickly. They run it. Anderson. And Anderson. Goes down to the 33. Goolsby with the tackle. And a timeout call by OU. And they've gotten to that field position mark, Gus. One timeout remaining. Ibert. Last week versus Texas, three for three. He felt he was snubbed for Big 12 Special Teams player of the week. In fact, he tweeted the word snubbed with the hashtag, we all make mistakes, and included a video of his three made field goals. He'll get another shot, maybe. Second and five. Mayfield taking his time. Mayfield over the middle, caught. Brown at the 21. And Hollywood Brown gains 11. They want to save the timeout, get up and spike this ball. Now in a few moments, we will send some of you in Texas to the kick of Kansas TCU. For the rest of you, you will get, we will get you out to the game at the immediate conclusion of our game or turn to Fox Sports Kansas City or stream it live. Thirty five thirty five 16 seconds remaining well, now it becomes a question of where Seibert wants the ball to be kicked from is he a right hash kicker center of the field kicker that's where they're going to hand the ball off towards that direction to try to set him up for this kick second down and 10 Anderson trying to get outside breaks one tackle turns the corner Anderson sprinting touchdown but there is a flag Gus Brown was the receiver on the outside that 
may have gotten a hold, but there was also, as he was turning the corner, speaking of Anderson, he may have gotten his face mask grabbed by number 46, Jade Kirby. A lot of stuff going on on that far side as Anderson took off around the corner. Personal foul, face mask, defense, number 46. The result of the play is a touchdown. That penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. What a run from Anderson. Unbelievable. Just trying to set up a field goal. Anderson then gets kind of strung out to the left. He knows right there here, he's like, I can't lose yardage. There was the face mask. Kirby had a hold of his face mask. Finds the corner and gets into the end zone. What an amazing run from Rodney Anderson. What a night. Anderson, 19 carries, 147 yards, and two rushing touchdowns. Seibert, they'll have to wait to become the special teams player of the week because Anderson took it out of his hands. I mean, that is a season-saving run from Rodney Anderson. OU does not play for a Big 12 title later in December with two losses in this conference. And Anderson took it into the end zone with what looks to be a win from the Sooners. What a game! Seven seconds left. Anything can happen in college football. I wouldn't mess around with trying to kick this or, or squib it. Kick it out got, of the end yeah, zone? Yeah, they've got the win, so why not try to kick it out of the end zone? I guess squibbing it is fine as long as you're okay with allowing your kickoff coverage unit to kind of be the 